We live. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our uh, Star Trek Adventures Cerberus Station, where we complete the crossover of with Cerberus and Nighthawk. This time, focusing on the crew of the USS or of the Deep Space 15 Station, aka Cerberus Station. Normally, we would have a captain's log. However, if anyone was remembers the last Cerberus uh, Station episode, it ended in a bit of a, how shall we say, a kerfuffle. Uh, so instead, I've decided that I will read the Admiral's, uh, the Admiral's log based on her findings during the inquest. <clears throat> Stardate 8259.1.4. From Ramin Daraz Zir, Rear Admiral, Remote Starbase Initiative, Beta Quadrant. To William Riker, Admiral, Remote Starbase Initiative. Stardate 82591.4. Subject Investigation into Deep Space 15's Officer Incident. The investigation into the assault on the experimental med on the experimental medical holographic program known as Galen by the former Chief of Security, Master Chief Ember. Was reveal, has revealed flaws in the station's command structure, culminating with Captain M Niles Crawford. Please see the attached documents for full reference. The root cause of this incident was Master Chief Ember's untreated post-traumatic stress disorder, brought about by the loss of many of her crewmates due to rogue holographic programs on the USS Ophion A. She has held a deep grudge against them ever since, whether, whether this is a psychological trait shared by her species in general, uh, PTSD, or unique to her. I will leave that for the xenopsychology experts in your office. Her paranoia was only further influenced with her neural interface into Deep Space 15's well-established network, giving her pseudo-omniscience. This paranoia led her to act at the first sign of secretive behavior from the holographic doctor. Please see attach my finding on what was being done with Dr. Ira Graves. While concerning, it is not related to this investigation. This matter, in this panel's opinion, could have been prevented by either Commander Dalrum or Captain Crawford. The Master Chief has made her hatred and distrust clear from the outset, and while she has attended mult a couple sessions of counseling, she was not committed to the process and there were no orders for her to continue. Thus, they were meaningless. The incident of the actual physical assault committed by crewman Second Class Dura is found to be committed under psychological duress. She had not underwent her vara high, yet, and so was very susceptible to fear-based responses. Given Ember's harsh leadership style and the tense nature of the confrontation, it is understandable why she took the shot, even though the orders to do so may have been made in failing judgment. There will be no reprimand on her file, however, counseling will be required. Per evidence found during the testimony of all involved, as well as being able to see the recreation of events firsthand through the ROM-E system, I have taken the following actions. Master Chief Ember's commission has been suspended, and she will be transferred to Starbase 102 for a full psychological evaluation. Her commission will be reinstated only after she receives a clean bill of mental health. However, should she wish to leave Starfleet, she may do so at any time. Lieutenant Sullivan Barnett has requested a transfer to somewhere closer to home. I have accepted this. Lieutenant Galen has also requested a transfer. He has lost trust in those he had called friends. I have accepted it. He will be returned to the Daystrom Institute where his program evolution will be examined. Then he will be made available to transfer to another star base, ah, to another facility or starship. Captain Crawford receives a reprimand on his record for showing poor personnel management ability. There has been a great deal of activity here on Deep Space 15 and the surrounding area, that, and he has looked primarily beyond the bulkheads while ignoring the issues within his own command staff. It is my recommendation that future captains for the remote Starbase initiative be vetted from existing Starbase or Starship captains. He will stay here if he chooses, but I will be leaving an attaché to report on his behavior. Commander Dalrum was the only ranking officer in operations during this incident and was unaware of it until it was finished. I am amending to his existing reprimand on file acquired earlier. Uh, see the attached report on the species known as the Draven. Both Captain Crawford and Commander Dalrum need to receive further training on personnel management. Courses will be overseen by Lieutenant Dak Lorza, the Senior Counselor. This concludes the investigation panel's findings and actions.
and report. So that is the Admiral's report. Uh, we are going to start off on the station's ops. So Commander Dalrum, uh, this is the first time that you have set foot on ops since the inquiry began about two days ago. Uh, you have you uh, come out to the station to realize that the uh, to realize that the Lun USS Lunette and much of the new senior staff has taken off with the crew of the USS Nighthawk to investigate some uh, suspicious brain activity in the Eban system that you have that was the result of one of your first contact missions. <clears throat> it has been. Fairly quiet. Uh, the captain has retreated to his quarters to decompress after the whole issue. Uh, having your actions picked apart by an admiral, a lawyer, and several other quote-unquote experts uh, for the last 48 hours have been fairly trying. Now, uh, has uh, Lieutenant Commander Keevan shown up in chat? I do see him there. Hello. Hello there. Greetings. So, um, this is our new player who will be replacing uh, Lieutenant Sullivan Barnett, uh, Lieutenant Commander Keevan. Um, you're currently at the operations console, and uh, would you please describe your character? I am a six foot one Denobulan male. Um, I'm in the prime of my life. Um, he's 73 years old. He has green eyes, and he is stands pretty bulky in the shoulders, but he's a good fit Denobulan. Excellent. All right, uh, Commander Dolrum, is there anything you wish to say? Anything that you wish to have or do before we move on? I've just been keeping my composure, uh, just kind of checking on certain sasses. Very well. Being on ops. Uh, so it's at this point that the uh, USS Lunette has been gone for about a day, maybe two, a well, day and a half by now, I would think. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Keevan, if I could ask you to please roll me a um, insight plus engineering role please and the ship or the station can assist with sensors uh, sensors plus engineering and this is going to be a difficulty of one so uh, so who's going to roll ship I can do the station excellent what is it doing again? Uh, sensors engineering. Now it's the difficulty one taking in the advanced sensors. Um, oh, I forgot that the station had that. Um, and Keevan, there's actually built-in macros to the character sheet. Um, if you click on the various um, attributes or disciplines on the sheet itself, it will prompt you to roll. And it will do everything automatically. Uh, however, that looks like a one success for you. Um, that actually does not take into account the advanced sensors on the station. I kind of forgot the station had those sensors, actually. I don't know if it does. I'm looking through it. I don't see it nope. on here, but I thought we had... Uh, had... Nope, Lunette. Lunette has it, and Cerberus does not. If it is um, inside and engineering, actually, it will be um, two successes. Ah, Cool. Okay. Two successes and a success from the station. Fantastic. So you guys are, uh, uh, Kevin, your transwarp monitoring uh, console blips to life as a gate on the transwarp network um, is showing traffic coming through it. Uh, what is odd is that this is, not, this is a gate that has not yet been fully explored by the Starbase's um, scouting fleets. Uh, uh, whatever's coming through is fairly large. Commander, I'm detecting a 
emanation out of one of the unexplored hubs. That's not good. What's the size? Given? Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What's the size of it? Looks fairly large. Maybe I can't get a clear signal, but it is large. Mm -hmm. Raise shields as a precautionary and prepare to uh, hail the ship as soon as it. Uh huh. And despite we're not going to go there just yet, but and almost on cue. So one of the gates close one of the gates closer to the epicenter of the station goes live. And we are just gonna cut here for a few seconds while we take a look at things. <clears throat> Coming out of one of the gates near the epicenter of the Transwarp hub are several large uh, ships. They are angular in uh, they are angular in um, dimension. The largest being a scale nine, and the smaller ones being scale four. Your <clears throat> Uh, your sensors are detecting that they are Tholian in nature. Commander, I am picking up Tholian vessels. One's fairly large. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting reports that I'm cutting out. Um, how's everyone hearing me? Uh, you're, I mean, you're, you're clear to me. Okay. Yeah, so, so some Butter. people are just kind of cutting out a little quick at the end maybe they release their push to talk button too quickly could be okay uh sorry so yeah tholian in nature um commander dolrum what is your response open a hailing uh frequencies they are uh, the tholians do not respond as three of the large ships begin to slowly circle around the station. And it keep shields matter. raised, keep sensor lock on all ships. Aye, aye, Commander. Lieutenant Derval quickly poke, um, speaks up from his console. Commander, Admiral... I'm afraid that we've lost connection to the Midas receiver outside the uh, Carceri Nebula. They're trying to cut off our communication outward. That would appear this way, Captain. <clears throat> Open a channel so that they are received. Channel is open. It's ships. This is Deep Space 15. I am Commander Dolrum, who is uh, currently in command. Can we help you with something? <clears throat> you receive a... A mess... Uh, yeah. Your hollow screen jumps to life with this individual... Who I have. <clears throat> I'll make him slightly larger so that stream can see what it looks like. Even in the uh, even in their non class M environment, he's already wearing a envir an environmental suit. Uh, typically where they would be seen on board, you know, Class M ships. Uh, Tholian, the Tholian climate is quite inhospitable to standard or organic life in general. Why he's wearing that suit right now is a bit of a mystery. 
we, the Tholian Assembly, lays claim to this discarded piece of webway technology and all that surround it, including this station. Please, you will deactivate your weapons and prepare to and prepare to evacuate the station. Dest imminent destruct or destruction will be imminent if not complied. Tholian Webway. That's interesting, considering this was a Borg hub. There, there are, there have been four scouted points at the that ex, ah, that ingress from Tholian space. By Tholian law, that makes it our property. Last time I checked. monitoring the hub. Uh, sorry, Dolram, you cut out there. Last time I checked, this was unclaimed space, and we had laid a, a station here for research, open to all. You will abandon your station and prepare for its imminent dis destruction. If you evacuate peacefully, you will not be harmed. We are well aware that your Federation starship con or station construction permits a significant number of escape pods. All of your species, or all of you, those on board, shall be saved. You have ten minutes to comply, starting now. And with that, he cuts the transmission. And officers on, to the bridge. And on that, we are going to cut to the lunette. So you guys... Okay. To the lunette. Where I'm, I believe that the Commander Bashir has left back to Starbase. Or left back to the Nighthawk. Okay, so... Uh, you guys have recently just discovered that you have been led out as a ruse, more or less. As the Breen that had led you astray have been destroyed, either by your hands or by Zenkethi. <clears throat> Captain Jail, or Commander Jail, orders a return back to Deep Space uh, 15 at maximum warp even though that will leave the uh, USS Lunette um, flying behind for a little bit. Does anybody have any scenes they wish to play out on the Lunette before we get back to the station? I'm not on the Lunette, obviously. A quick question. Sure. So... Uh, if I'm recalling correctly, wasn't Deimos with the away team when we beamed to the... Yes. Uh, okay, just yep. making sure. He was. Actually be here or not. I'm assuming that you've... you've um, in the... Ah, sorry. In the essence of moving the story along, I'm assuming that upon sifting through wreckage of brain stuff, Deimos made it back to the Lunette, and Commander Bashir has made it back to the uh, Nighthawk. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I'm not hearing a heck of a lot of requests for intermediate scenes. Uh, so we are... So Commander Mud is going to raise awareness as you approach the... Uh, ah, as you approach the Carceri Nebula's entrance. Uh, sirs, the Midas receiver's been destroyed. I'm going to check my systems and sensors to make sure the readout's right. Uh, that would be a insight plus security. And this will be a difficulty of two. Ship can assist if it wishes with also sensors plus security. Uh, since I'm investigating this, uh, investigation is the focus? I'll let that play. Yay. Sensor security, I'll roll for the ship. 
Sure. Demos got two. Excellent. And ship got one, so that's one momentum. Uh, so the sense, uh, the Midas array has been uh, destroyed roughly about an hour ago, and the, you definitely sense um, uh, weapon signatures are very similar to the Zenkethi uh, that had destroyed the surrendering Breen vessel in last episode. Uh, however, there's no sign of that vessel now. Acting Captain, I recommend we get back to service as quickly as possible uh, and drop a relay buoy for now, a temporary one, until we can get proper communications reestablished. Why, yes, that is a fantastic idea. Lieutenant Yamato, make it so. Understood, sir. And He's just going to look at Barry in jail for a second. like, mud, maximum warp, with the captain's permission, back to Cerberus. Well, push the engines. I'm just going to look at the Yamato like, sorry. <laughs> right. Uh, yes, that that's what I meant. Of course. Good orders, Captain. We'll give him like an uh, approving nod, like you did good. <laughs> and it's not long until the USS Lunette appears on the battlefield. Uh, on route, I'm going to try and ping the Nighthawk. Okay. Um, just so I don't keep switching... Uh, set pieces. Um, Commander um, Commander Bashir, on the con on your console you will receive a subspace hail from the lunette. Despite the fact that you are drifting further and further apart just because they've pushed their engines and despite um, just despite Chief Engineer Schrass's inventive and partially reckless solutions, you're not able to um, keep up. Uh, Commander Bashir, hello. Oh, he's You're flashing, talking, but, but we can't we hear can't him. We can't hear you, that's weird. Uh, quit Discord and rejoin, Commander. Okay, uh, let's say that shows up on Helsing's screen. Nighthawk. Nighthawk, this is the Lunette. This is uh, Chief of Security Demos. We have spotted some potential debris on your flight path. Or are they ahead of us? Behind us? I can't remember. If, uh, th they or... are. So they are behind you. All right. yeah. There is potential debris in your flight path. We are going to send information. Please be aware. And run silent. Back to Cerberus as soon as you can. Roger that. I'll pass it on up to uh, Captain Singral. I'll send them the scan data of the destroyed array. Okay. I'm just going to jump servers here. I'm getting some cutouts. I will... Pardon me. We'll be jumping into this again momentarily. Okay, let's try this voice server, shall we? Okay, so, um, Commander Dalrum, um, are, you, are you doing anything else for that 10 minutes? I will send the order to evacuate civilians via the shuttle. Okay, via the shuttle base. Okay, that's actually a very good idea. <clears throat> And right as the countdown hits zero, uh, the Tarantula Dreadnought uh, power up their weapons, 
And they will, since you are not firing first, they will. We'll just roll for... And that is not actually, that's actually not enough for them to hit with an energy weapon. Well, it does hit and the ship, or the station shudders just a little bit, but your, sh your shields are deflect the energy of the weapon fairly quickly. If that's the best they got, we have a little bit of an advantage. I will move down to a weapons console to be able to fire. Okay. Commander takes uh, tactical. I'll roll for the station. I'll roll my tactical. Okay. Fire weapons. All right. Which weapon are you firing? Which one are we thinking? I was just thinking little uh, phaser fire. Honestly, the phasers are the best weapons that the, uh, the station has. Yeah. Phasers get broken as things get bigger. Just remember to declare area or spread when you're doing the array because uh, you have to declare it before the attack is made. Mm -hmm. Let's do spread. So if we hit high enough, we damage multiple systems. And weapon security, I imagine. I believe that's the case, yes. I roll, is it control security? Uh, control security, that's right. Starboard tactical systems is a focus? I would think that'd be a good one, yes. Only if you're firing out the right side of the ship, of the station, though. You fire out the left side. <laughs> That's supposed to say starship. I don't know why yeah. it's a starboard. Oh, I just realized I rolled the wrong ship. That's interesting. Oh, well, too late now. Okay. I'm going to give you a threat for one die, and I'm going to... And you cut out again. Sorry. Well, if I give you threat, I have bold security. Okay, that works. Okay, so station rolled zero successes. What did the commander roll? Commander rolled three, so that's one momentum for you. That is definitely a hit. Uh, was that an error? Uh, you didn't say area or spread, so I'm assuming it's just a single... No, I said I declared. Oh, sorry, you you cut in and out slightly, so I must have that must have been a bit of a blank spot for me. I apologize. Okay, an area effect. So roll your damage. Station should get a significant amount of challenge dice for this. I'll uh, I'll get that done. Okay. I should also declare I have quick to action. Oh, that's also a good thing to have. I did it since it was that's, taking a while. Yeah. Six damage. That's fair. Six damage. Okay. Um, should we burn one momentum to reroll all those? We should, yes, yeah. and then spend all the versatile on uh, getting rid of four resistance. Yeah, because these things are tough little buggers. Literally. Okay, so I'll do. Sure. Uh, I, I'll I'll roll these. Okay. Okay, so that's only an extra two, and that's so that is eight damage total, which is still not enough to get through its resistances. Even after accounting for the uh, four resistance off the top. Uh, four. Oh, right, four off the top. Uh, they have scale 9, resistance 10, thanks for a blade of armor. So yeah, that... Yeah. These things are tanks. Uh, that's down to 6 resistance now. So that is 2 points of damage into them. Okay. So they're launching, and then... Uh, so, uh, so, um, unless, so who's going to spend the, is anyone going to spend extra momentum or threat? Doesn't sound like it, so this one is going I, I think, Dol I think Dolorum said he had, uh, quick to action. He did, yes. 
Uh, let's scan for weakness. Ooh, okay, and that is going to be a insight plus science, I believe, with a difficulty of two. And again, station can assist. Sensor science? Yeah. And this is on the Dreadnought A. Cool. Is Keevan rolling? All right. Um, do you, um, are you ordering Keevan to roll? Quick to action just lets us get another round. It's not oh. necessarily me as a specific ah. character. Right? Oh, okay then. So, yeah, if Keevan wants to do that, uh, run a scan for weakness, that'd be sensor science for Keevan. Uh, you mean insight science? Sorry, insight science. Thank you for catching me. And if you have anything like sensor operation or tactical analysis or even starship identification, that would do the trick. Okay, that's two successes, one from the ship, so that is one more momentum for you guys. Uh, Keevan, you're detecting that their shields are not fully calibrated to withstand the unusual energies of this nebula. Uh, you should be able to exploit such a weakness the next time you decide to attack. And it's at this point that the USS Lunette enters right on the extreme range of um, combat. So you guys are technically at long range, uh, just the battle map has not, does not extend that far. And at this point, we're probably going to enter into proper combat. So station at a turn. that can go away how much power did we use with that I phaser be I believe a phaser attack is one power okay that's a glitch in rule 20 I wasn't aware of okay and turn And I fully expect some of these guys not to last long enough for their turns to actually happen. Uh, let's see, Lunette is there, Tarantulas are there. Okay. I think that's everyone on the board for now. Okay, um, so station or lunette? Do either of you guys wish to do something? Um, Demos, you are currently at the tactical officer of the lunette, so. Or so look for the captain. Well, just don't. Uh, don't don't stand there. Fire something. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, let's see. Yeah, phaser's on the uh, Dreadnought B. Phaser's on Dreadnought B. Okay. Roll your... Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, control plus... So you first of all have to get into medium range. Right now you're at long. Are we? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, unless you yeah. wish to take the extra oh. difficulty, you can do that too. Uh, if we're at long, then torpedoes. Okay, then. So I will take threat for that. Are you firing one or a spread? Oh, right. Oh, it's, is it the torpedoes that give you threat? I thought it was uh, just quantums. Um, no, it's all torpedoes. And yeah, honestly, no, well, firing torpedoes is not a good option against these big targets unless we get rid of their shields. Okay. I then, yeah. Mm. Our best though. move, quote unquote, is getting up close because they might not have close weaponry. 
and then just phaser cannoning them to death. Yeah, I said let's do that then. Okay. Uh, uh, so... We don't have phaser cannons, we got just phaser array. No, oh, yeah. wow. Well. Yeah. Uh, Blue Net fast targeting. Hmm. Um, yeah, since we don't suffer difficulties for doing fast target, uh, I'm going to specify we're going to target shields. Okay. Drop them as quickly as possible. Good plan. So what am I rolling? Uh, let's see. So that, again, is control plus security. Uh, ship will assist with weapon security. Um, I believe that's only a difficulty two without since you're since you have the fast targeting ability. Yeah. Ooh. And my guy has been gained familiar with all Starfleet uh, tactical systems. Mm -hmm. Can I focus apply? That would work. All right, I'll roll weapons security for the ship. Cool beans. One success for Demos. for the ship. Now, my uh, neural implant. Yeah. That, ooh. Uh, Ember, do you remember what the neural implant does? I believe you. you if you're plugged into the, uh, the ship, you can re-roll the ship's die, but if the ship takes damage, so do you. Yeah, yeah. so... I'll be, I'll be plugged into the ship, so the ship can re-roll. Cool. Rerolling ship. Rerolling ship. Okay, hey. that is the two successes you need. Uh, so roll damage. And that is seven challenge dice. I Get that there. Ooh, that's a nice roll. Yeah. Okay, so that's eight. And what are you doing with your two... Um, momentum from Versatile. Uh, to get rid of resistance. I figured as much. Okay. They take a solid hit as you strafe their shields. Now we do have two momentum. You could get rid of more resistance. If you spent two momentum, we could get a breach on them. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. Gotta keep Ooh. the station safe. Okay. One of their glowy wing panel things um, explodes in a collapsing um, pyrotechnics display. Oh, that's how that works. Okay, cool. And the ship sort of lists to one side before regaining its posture, and it begins to turn slowly on you. So let's see. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to have a couple quick. So this one is going to... Now, do enemy ships need to roll to move, or is that simply a momentum task for the... Uh, uh, I've always done it that the ships yeah. just... they I mean, they still have to spend their turn action yeah. to move, but I don't roll okay. for them, because otherwise you would generate threat for yourself, and... That sort of is a bad thing. That does make yeah, makes sense. So these two, the Iktomi cruisers, um, close into the station. And now, if the station would care to respond? Can we use weapons, or have we already used that? Um, I'm going to say that the first weapons was before combat. So if you want to do it again, go for it. Are they close enough that an area would hit both of them? Um, do, what do you mean by both of them? Because there's quite a few on the field at the moment. I um, think he means is it going to hit Cruiser A and Cruiser B? Uh, the Iktomis? Yes, it, will, it would hit uh, the two Iktomis A and B. Or it could hit the Dreadnought A and the Iktomi Cruiser A. I say we try to take out the two cruisers. Go for it. Yeah. So we will do a 
uh, phaser array uh, area. Okay. I'm going to give you three uh, threat <laughs> or two extra. Okay. Okay. Weapon security. Yep, weapon security. And I'm going to re-roll that zero because I have bold security. Go for it, man. That's already four successes. Eh. Not quite, I'm afraid. Still, roll damage. It's 12 challenge... Yep. Yep. How much momentum did I generate? Uh, you generate have two here? regular and two bonus from versatile at the moment. Would piercing work with an area attack on both of them? Yep. Yep. So let's use the two floating for piercing, so four off their resistance. Okay. And then I'll use one that we generated to reroll those five. Oh. Okay, I'll reroll. Oh, nope, he just did. Okay. So that is a grand total of 15 damage to each of those. Let me quickly check their sheets, see if there's anything still standing on the darn things. <laughs> yeah, those those aren't, as, those aren't as big as the tarantulas. <laughs> nope. Kind of the point, really. Okay. I'm just making a statement, guy. Okay, so let's see. Their shields, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you lose 11 shields went down. Let's see. So you res you reduced resistance by 4, correct? Or by t How much did you reduce resistance by? By 4. Okay, so it was by 4. So you've blown through all their shields and caused two breaches on each. Yeah. Um, they immediately... S one of them lose... Ah, one of the, on cruiser A, one of their uh, prongs is separated by the blast, careening off into the nebula's chaotic uh, event zone. Uh, cruiser B uh, suffers engine loss, and they are sort of struggling at the moment. Both of them are showing significant amounts of damage. Lunette. Anything you... Or no, sorry, it's uh, good guy's turn, bad guy's turn. So one of the... So let's say Dreadnought C is going to do an attack on the station. I'm going to spend some threat for a couple extra crew dice. That's a success. So crew dice succeeded. But not so much on the actual firing of the weapons. That's annoying. Okay. Well, um, so despite their diligence, another blast just ricochets off the side of the station's uh, ventral shielding and careens down off into space. I mean, so they're going to hate me for saying yeah, this, I'm but sure they will. I could energy be reading weapons are only difficulty two, so uh, unless they were fire, even if they were firing torpedoes, it's difficulty three. Um, With the extra crew dice, you've got three successes. Uh, so. Ah, my apologies. So I'm reading the fire weapon wrong, then, aren't I? The fire weapon is the ship's die. It does uh, not have to succeed for them to fire weapons. Oh, that ship die. I'm going to modify the macro so I am not confused by that in the future. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, yeah it's going to blow up. So that uh, beam that ricocheted off into space, does a boomerang, and will come <laughs> back and really hurt you guys. And I had their character sheet open, and then I closed it because I'm a bad GM. Yeah, all the, uh, all the below the line and the macro, those are all just ship rolls. Uh, cool. That. Roll damage. Okay, so oh, that's going to be a problem. That's a significant problem. 
Uh, let's see. So 12 damage plus vicious one. For a total of 17. 17. That's it. So we take seven shield, and that's it, because we breach on eight, not on five. Yep, yeah, that's right. You breach on eight. So I believe you just take one one breach? No, no breaches, oh, no. period. Right. See, GM's got your, GM's got your back. <laughs> Means I just need to spend more threat next time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, just for the sake of funsies, um, USS Nighthawk, you are going to appear at, just to get you guys into this, the USS Nighthawk is going to appear at extreme range. So it's going to need a, either a very well-rolled long-range weapon attack or a helm action to get you guys in closer. And as we were coming in, since the since Chen Commander Demos had recommended we go and do silent running, mm-hmm. Captain Singer all recommended that's what we would be coming in as. That's a good plan. Um, oh, that's the that twice. We need the Nighthawk. Uh, right. So silent running. I had written up rules for that. Black alert. Black alert. Black alert indeed. Black alert. Black alert. Well. I'm sure they found a far more pleasing voice than the Discovery version was. Uh, let's see. So this is going to be a control engineering task to engage silent running. And ship can assist with engine security. Difficulty of two. I shall take care of the ship. Okay. Engine security. Uh, so either Sh- uh, Thashran or Helsing for the silent running. So, Shran, you there? You got uh, it? I'm here. Sure. Uh, what's the role for sound running? Uh, control engineering. And if you have tactical systems or stealth s- systems or s- even something like Starship Engineering, which might work for silent running. Uh, not quite. I only have okay. warp field and power system. Yeah. I'll let power systems go, but if we're going to have someone roll, we should probably come up with a better focus in the future. What's the difficulty? Difficulty two. And there's the two. You are at silent running. Despite the chaoticness of the nebula, this USS Nighthawk seems to be holding uh, silent. Um, What do you wish to do on your guys' first turn? I mean, I think we've learned um, that the Typhon pack has the ability, possibly, to see through our uh, silent running action. Possibly. Uh, so I don't necessarily feel like, at least in this scenario, since the station's under attack, that I mean, we could use it to get in a better shot to line it up, but I have no interest in staying here, as I normally would. Okay. So, so if you guys, uh, if Tactical here feels like they can actually get a good long-range weapons roll in, uh, if we move once, maybe like one or two hexes closer, then sure. Otherwise, uh, let's go fire from extreme range to the best of our capability. Okay. Um, so this will be a control plus um, con action from the Helmsman. Uh, I'd like to do the attack pattern action. Ooh, that sounds yes. like a good one. Into a... It happens. Um, I had it open too, and it also lost it. Um, attack pattern. There I still. Yeah. Got cool. Uh, daring and con, difficulty of two. Uh, ships, assist, weapons, and con. Alright, I got the ship. <clears throat> Okay. That's one success from the ship. Using my helm operations focus. Mm Mm-hmm. 
and that is a that's four four successes. So I believe that's two momentum. Are we keeping two separate pools? Nope. Uh, group pool, similar to last session. Roger. Uh, so all the attacks made by the ship reduced by in difficulty by one uh, to a minimum of one until my next turn. Okay. So it is now my turn. So we are within. Uh, where is my pointer tool? There it is. That is not quite close enough. So the other cruiser is going to go. And it powers on its engines and begins making a mad dash towards the station. And next up will be either the Deep Space 15 or the Lunette. We will to attack again. Had an increased difficulty, yes. Um, well, actually, we'll do what the station did earlier. Uh, we'll scan for weaknesses. Okay. Don't know who's going to do that. Um, I'm the science guy. I'm pretty sure that's Yamato, isn't it? Yeah, Yamato can do that. Uh, okay, so science. So uh, that's a science roll. I believe so. Yes. So insight plus science. And ships can assist with sensors plus science. Difficulty two. Okay. Um. That's accounting for our uh, advanced sensor suite? Uh, that does not account for your, uh, your sensor suite, so that is obviously made easier. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so uh, focus is computers, warp core mechanics, experimental technology, starship recognition, starship power systems, extravehicular operations. Yeah, I'll let the Starship Recognition one work in this instance. Okay, and I'll uh, buy two D two more D20s with momentum. Okay. Need all the help we can get. That's fair. Rolling ship now. Uh, sensor science again. Uh, sensor sci. Uh, yep, sensor science. So that is three degree success there, and one from the ship. Okay, I am. Um, yeah, so two degrees of success, two momentum for you guys. Uh, so I think you're now yep. at one moment, or you're at two momentum total. Okay, uh, and that, which dreadnought was that against? Red not be cool. Okay. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I. <clears throat> so dreadnought B is going to actually do. Let's see. So does the station have shields left? Or do we're at the... seven? That's at seven. Well, Dreadnought B is going to have to do something about that. Uh, they're actually within close range. What do they have close range weaponry? I mean, they can still fire their uh, their weapons if they're at close range. Just if they don't have close on the weapon, yeah. like if it's they... a phaser array or whatever that's rated for medium, it's a difficulty increase to yeah. fire at not that range. Makes sense to me. Okay. So what it's going to do um, is because the, yeah, so it's close. Uh, so it's going to fire its disruptor banks again, or not again, for the first time. Over there, because that's here. That. No, 
extra threat on that. That would be the two, two successes, and I needed three because I was close. You got three. Yeah. Oh, That's I what did. the green box is for. Ah. Oh, right, I criticaled. Yay, critical, and there's... Oh, right, fire weapon is a ship, crew dice is that. Learning. Cool. That'll hit. One dice again. Not so good on the damage roll this time. But it is vicious one, so that's a grand total of 11. Uh, no, I no, 12. get 12. 12. But, uh, so, two damage. <clears throat> that's fine and dandy. Cool. I believe it is now the good guy's turn. Nighthawk or Lunette? My quick action still comes into play. Oh, does it now? Okay. Because this is officially the first round we had, because we played without attack. Didn't you already use it this round, though? You can only use it once. But did that original attack happen within combat, or was it an out of combat? Uh, let's see. You've already attacked twice. So, yeah, you you attacked the cruisers with the uh, the Iktomi with the area attack, which was thoroughly in momentum. Or in combat. So, yes. I think, I think he's, he's talking about the first yeah. one, the first attack against the Dreadnought. He used his quick to action after that. Ah, uh, okay. So I did sort of run that. I did sort of rule that was out of combat before combat momentum started. So... Yeah, I'll let you have it, and I'll make a note next time about that. Cool. Okay, so who's firing? Or what? Nighthawk can come and actually lay damage down. Sure. Yeah. Okay, Nighthawk, what, be, what do you... And who do you do it to? Uh, Dreadnought B phasers. Dreadnought B phasers. Okay. So you're at medium now. Um, attack pattern makes life a little easier for you. And didn't they scan? Oh, that was the lunette. Never mind. Control security. Yep. And weapon security to. And I will use one of the uh, one momentum to okay. get a bonus die. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, that's a good amount of successes nice. right there. Yeah. So that so that one momentum you spent comes back um, twice, I believe. Oh, the difficulty should have been just one. Oh, I think, right? three. Yep. So three or times. The difficulty. Yeah, three successes. Yeah, you haven't actually attacked. Three so momentum. yeah, cool. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's a hit. Uh, roll damage. Alec, you want to do it? Um, and oh, sure. Yeah, uh, be sure to say if it's a spread or. Uh, oh yeah, whatever it does covers the most area. Yeah. All right. Okay. Seven challenge dice plus the number of successes we got. Is that how that works? Uh, no successes, just challenge dice. Okay. The successes go into the momentum pool, and then you can always spend momentum for to reroll challenge dice or decrease pen or increase penetration, etc. not rolling um do you have a the challenge dice macro Ooh. i can go ahead and there do it is. If you want. there we go okay seven. so seven dice. yep so six damage total uh you have the because phases have versatile too you can choose to 
uh, reroll. You have two momentum floating, so you can increase the penetration. Uh, reroll those zeros. Little of A, little of B. I think there's a couple other op options too, but those are the most popular. Oh wait, there's a whole mom momentum spread chart up t in the upper uh, left of the screen. I do like the penetration one. Most people do. So, um, decrease penetration by four? Sure, why not? Okay, so that is a grand total of... That is enough to take its shields down completely. Not enough for a breach, though. Can we spin a momentum and reroll the two zeros? Um, sure. Isn't it a breach when all of the shields are gone? Uh, yes, right. Thank you for reminding me. So that is a breach. So that is a grand total of three breaches on this ship so far. Okay. Yep. Quality reroll. Very quality. Okay. Uh, you begin raking its hull, and uh, green flames start licking out of its um, green flame. I'm sorry. Metallicy, uh, metallicy, as its uh, volatile atmosphere mixes poorly with the gases of the nebula. <clears throat> okay. So one of my ships hasn't fired yet. Which one is it? I believe it is A. That hasn't actually fired in combat. I should probably mark down these things in the future. Good plan. That's usually why I did the dots. Yeah. Because dots are easy to track care of, uh, you know, keep track of. Dots are useful. Let's make dots. That's done. This is done. Make mental note. I need a screen with a larger resolution. Okay. Those have done, those have done. This one's turn. <clears throat> and it is actually going... Let's see what it's going to do. Because Station still has shields, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Not for long. I'm going to spend some threat, and it is going to fire some torpedoes. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ship combat... I'll spend one more threat to add some dice, or add a dice. Yeah, you actually get that threat right back. Yes, I do. Cool. And it will launch a full... Nope. That's a torpedo. Rolling damage. Six, and it's per... Let's see. So it is not... Because this is a plasma torpedo, the damage is actually persistent for a round. Excellent. I don't think that's going to be a heck of a lot of damage to the ship. Or it's not going to cause a breach, for sure. I mean, it doesn't yeah. even get past our resistance no. unless we spend threat on penetration. Uh, you know, I kind of want to at least see the shields go down, so I'll spend uh, two points of threat to lower your penetration. Okay, yeah. uh, we're still fine. I'm not surprised. Fair enough. It's right. Now we see why the Borg such, had such trouble with the Federation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is their turn, and I believe that is their done. Okay. Let's see. So, uh, Deep Space 15, Lunette, or Nighthawk? I think it's the Lunette's turn. Is this a fresh round, so no difficulty to firing? Mm. No, uh, this is still no. the same round. Yeah, still the same round, because I have like nine different actions I could do if I wanted to with these gigantic ships. Make life easier, I probably won't, but yeah. So, nope, uh, end of the... I think you okay. have... You scan for weakness, so the lunette has one action left to do. I know ELH mentions he had something up his sleeve. I do, but uh, if you want to keep shooting the station, we can. I just... Or give you time to, you know, oh, give have me fun one. as the GM and roll yeah. all those challenge die. Oh, one more round and then we'll be good. Okay, yeah. then I will continue uh, yawning in sick bay, completely calm, not worried about anything. Okay. If yeah, I can't, I can't do anything because I've already went. Can't that's right, that right? Uh, you could fire again with an increased difficulty. Um, really against okay. 
large ships like this, um, you could spend momentum to gain advantage just because they're so freaking large. You could spend momentum, gain the advantage that, you know, they're massive, therefore easy to hit. And okay. keep it. Well, yep. also keep... Uh, I'm going to do something very, <laughs> very fun. Okay. Demos is going to look at the captain, and he's like, I'm not going to even ask for permission. He's just going to give a nod to Midas and say, let her up. And he is going to put his hand on the console and pump a bunch of energy into it okay. from himself using spark, uh, what is it here? Bright and bright like a solar flare. Okay, I'm which spending does? three momentum. Uh, first, I got to spend a three momentum. The ship gains a vicious one on its next phaser attack. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yep. Interesting. So, a bright red glow comes from Demos. Burns all the momentum to do this. And I'm going to pop my determination for uh, the attack. Okay. And that is control security. Control security. Yep. Yeah. Uh, ship assists with um, weapon security. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Here it goes. Yep. Okay. Success from the ship. And I'm ready for focus. There's that. Yeah, uh, so I believe. Yeah. So that is uh, one you momentum. Get four momentum. Oh, right. Yeah, you get a lot. Roll challenge dice, please. How many momentum do I get, sorry? Four. Yeah. Four. <laughs> All right. And yeah, I'll roll the challenge dice first because it's a big old beefy attack I'm doing. And I will do one momentum for reroll. Okay. I really want to. You really want this to work? Yeah. So that's okay. ten. Uh, right that's now. ten. Yeah. And this thing's already just one. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so dreadnought B. Uh, oh, um. Yep. And I get I get momentum from the uh, the attack too, right? Uh, from oh, versatile. Yeah, yes. versatile. Yes. All of that into piercing. Yeah. Uh, so this uh, Tholian dreadnought unzips itself. Just, except with zippers, it's a series of green explosions as it rips across the hull, uh, splintering it into <laughs> several pieces. We also, the phaser array drew three times the power, so how much power loss is that? Um, three. Th yeah, three. Okay. Okay, yeah. we're good. We're still good. Thank you. <laughs> you are indeed. Okay. My turn. So what I'm going to need to do for the mm. ship is actually roll challenge dice to see how well they pull this off. Could I use the quick to action oh. to have the station do a engineering shield recovery? That sounds like a good thing to do. Um, I suspect uh, Lieutenant Commander Keevan could excel at that. And I believe... Ready to roll yep. station is... Ready to roll station assist. Yep. Uh, so this is control engineering, I believe. And I think this is only difficulty one. Regen shields. <clears throat> Ooh, not good rolls on Keevan's part here. Uh, so it doesn't matter what the station rolls, because... If the character doesn't even roll one success, then the station can't assist. Is my or my ability as EXO, I can give my determinant? Uh, that's the captain. Um, I believe as the commanding officer, you can do... I believe you turn yours into free momentum. Uh, hang on, I have that rule here. You may spend, uh, while well, another the character in communication with the executive officer spends a point of determination, the executive officer may spend three momentum immediate to let that character regain the spent point of determination. Ah. And, well, we have three momentum, so if key, if that's what you guys wish to do. Uh, 
have saved milestones I can use as determination. Okay. Uh, even? Yep. Yes. Okay, so you cut out for the lat first half of what you were saying there, um, Dolmer, or Dolrum. Um, something about determination? We'll do my executive officer action. Okay. Uh, so, Keevan, uh, you can spend your determination to re-roll your entire roll. And then the XO is going to basically spend their momentum. And you can regain that determination. Pretty cool, actually. Let's hope this works. Let's hope. Here we go. Okay. Apparently now. Uh, sort of, kind of-ish. Uh, sh but the, sh the station can roll now, so what does the station roll? Uh, okay, um, let's see. Regenerate shield. At structure and engineering. Ah, structure engineering. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. That's enough to regen. So, I believe you get two. How many points of shielding do you get? That's a sh ruling I should have looked up. Uh, two points per shield, um, shift two points of shield plus two for each momentum. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> and we just spent our three momentum yeah. on uh, okay. getting that determination back, so it's just going to be the two shield. That's fair. Okay. So. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so what we're going to do for the the two Iktomis, uh the one who had the engine broke. So uh, you regained the shield um, generation, and I'm... I don't have a good answer for that complication at the moment, which is odd, because you should have lots of good ones. Oh, well, just I'll just... take more yeah. power. Yeah. Oh, I like that. It'll take power from the engine. So whatever the power cost was, add an, an additional one to that. Yep, got it. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, we're going to take a slight narration break. Uh, Commander, on you receive um, panic reports from the security officer as your console lights up with um, an alert of disruptor fire within the uh, fusion, the main fusion reactor down at the very bottom of the station. Uh, one of the engineers says, Bridge! 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 The Breen! The Breen! As several uh, disruptor blasts rock the station, as um, the station momentarily loses power. However, thankfully, um, due to its giant nature, it has a redundant set of uh, fusion cores halfway up, but you, the, st the station still loses five power. Security, breaches, uh, engineering fu fusion reactor. The security acknowledges, and they are all, and they are on their way. Okay. Also, seal up all non-essential corridors. Wise idea. Okay, so let's see. I already rolled for that ship. Let's roll for ship B, and I want this to succeed, so I'm going to spend crew. I'm going to spend threat to see it happen. That's enough. Uh, so, you know the that nice, large uh, shuttle um, station bay door that is currently closed? Well, that's not going yeah. to that's not going to stop uh, Iktomi Cruiser B from ramming right into it. As it oh, geez. as it spends what little power it had, thrusts its way into its um 
it basically burns itself out and takes it out of combat completely as it rams itself right into the door frame. Um, let me roll some challenge dice here. Let's see, scale 5, plus Tholian design. Okay. I mean, it is vicious 1 and yeah. devastating, so... It is. Um, because it is a ship, so yeah. Um, so, obviously, there's going to be a hull breach on the station uh no actually we you're only doing 10 damage and we have resistance of 10 so unless you spend threat for more damage or re-rolls or penetration yeah. we're fine yeah but it's a ship hmm. no i like the idea of the station standing a bit strong even after a ship literally tries to forcibly enter itself into it um Amazing. oh god <laughs> Uh, the ship splinters as as if it was a glass bobble being thrown at a brick wall. <clears throat> but that is enough to take it out of combat. And the station still stands tall. Now, I bl now if you'd like to do that thing now, uh, um, area. Yeah, I think it's about that time. So, uh... Commander Area dusts herself off, makes herself look pretty, goes to her uh, her desk in the uh, medical office, casually turns on a wideband open channel that everyone in the sector can hear, and say, Attention, Tholian fleet. I regret to inform you that your attempts to take the station and eliminate it are going to be unsuccessful, for you see, we have two things you're not going to like. The first is that we have strategically planted, and thanks to you not being able to do anything, we have activated and primed our transphasic torpedoes, which will explode all of the transwarp hub in an instant. Oh, and if that wasn't bad enough for you, uh, you forget about the Cobramite that all Starfleet stations and vessels have within them. If you so much as fire one more shot at the station, I will activate the Cobramite device, thus rendering the immediate space within an approximately range of 600,000 kilometers to be completely useless, a dead zone. And since that includes the sun, I believe you think, I, I don't think I have to tell you what happens after that. It's a supernova. So I'm giving you this one chance. Leave. That is all. And I end the channel. Okay. Um, and I will send a, I will spend my intelligence officer advantage mm -hmm. that we maybe actually have Cobramite on the on the the, uh, the star base. Okay. Um, given their dogged determination to see the station done, um, well, someone was telling me that I haven't given you guys a challenge five or difficulty five test in a while, so I think this will be one. Um, so this will be a presence plus command. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm not entirely sure if anyone will assist given how you've delivered it. No, I yeah. think this is purely on me. Yeah. Uh, would you give me tactics on this? I'd prefer something more along the lines of bluffing, lying, intimidation if you have those. But closest yeah. I've got is infiltration. Yeah, either of those will. I, I'll give them to you for now. All yeah. right, cool. Uh, let's see. I will spend my determination uh let's see uh there's a few here that apply but i think the one i like best is the more informed you are the better you can make a decision yeah i think the tholians can now make a decision yeah that's uh so that's two successes to start off with uh we have no momentum so i will give you i don't want to give you six threat no it's five threat i will give you five threats that i'm okay. rolling four dice Okay. And we have to see some successes here. Good luck. If not, I'm either going to have to have the captain come in and give me their determination, or I'm going to have to burn a value. Well, that's uh, five successes. There you go. <clears throat> 
Well, good news. Um, the Tholian Dreadnoughts, the two that survive, um, immediately. Both the Station, the Nighthawk, and the Lunette see that the uh, Tholian weapons have been turned off. Um, however, um, from Iktomi Cruiser B, uh, several life signs begin to scamper across the hull. And a quick determination, um, or not a quick, a quick analysis of sensor readings show that there are about 50 uh, Tholians in full EVA gear skittering across the surface of the station. Uh, they are going to find some armored windows and begin cutting their way in. So you got the Tholians to stop shooting at the station, but now you've just told them, you know, don't shoot the station. I mean, I accomplished yeah. what I set out to yeah. do. I did my job. I mean, and now we have a bug infestation. Yes, yes, you do. <clears throat> and so, uh, given that I'd really like the captain to be here uh, for this next part, and I think he's about to arrive, I think now is a good time to take a 10-minute bio break. And we will get back here in about 10 minutes, so uh, about 32, 33 minutes past the hour. Okay. All right, give me good. a second here. Okay. Roger that.
Hello, welcome back, folks. Okay, Captain. Captain Crawford, it has been a yep. very trying few days for you. You were hoping to have a nice evening to relax and get the whole hearing over and done with, but then somebody started shooting at your station. Rather repeatedly. They didn't do a lot of damage, but they sure have shaken things up a bit. You're on your way to the bridge when the turbo lift you're in comes to a grinding halt and you have to hike the last five decks on foot. You make your way to Ops, where we will start the scene. Okay, we are good. Commander Dolrum, uh, apparently weapons fire. What's happening? Well, sir, we have a little bit of... Uh, there you go again, Dolrum. Lost you. Well, sir... We're having a little bit of a bug problem with some Tholian. Lovely. Um, what's the extent of the damage to the station, if any? Well, sir, good news is we're still standing here. And the bad news? And our shields have been hit, but are holding. But if we lose our power, we're screwed. Uh, Crawford will kind of tap his comm badge. Uh, Captain Crawford to Lieutenant Yamato. Over on the uh, Lunette, Lunat, uh, uh, yeah, Lars will apply. Yamato here. Oh, you're on the lunette. So, what, the chief engineer on the station would probably be, what, Nia? I would suspect now, ops op, I suspect now that uh, Lieutenant Commander Keevan would serve as secondary engineer, as he has pretty good engineering score. Okay. Uh, in that case, oh, I Lieutenant still, Commander... Sorry, I still go have ahead. bad news for you, Captain. We've also currently been boarded Breen have taken out our one fusion reactor and we have uh tholian skating across our upper uh dome lovely have security teams been dispatched to deal with the brain yes sir but i'd be feel more comfortable if i was down there helping hmm lieutenant commander keevan um do what you can to try and restore power to the station. Commander Dorum, um, as much as I think you'd like to help, I think you're better stationed up here. But if you want to help them, I won't stop you. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, so let's have a difficulty of... I feel that I would be better suited down attacking the Breen. Then go. Grab what you need and go. Aye, sir. Okay, so Dolrum is heading down to deal with security th threats. Now, are you going to deal with the Breen, or are you going to deal with the Tholians? I'm going to deal with the internal threat before the external threat becomes an internal threat. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so we will find out what happens with Dolrum shortly. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Keevan, um, let's have a roll to try to restore power. Uh, given everything that's going on, I'm going to make this a difficulty four. Uh, so either control or daring plus engineering. And the station can assist with... Um, I guess engines plus engineering. You, engines in this case just referring to the power systems. Right. Rolling for station. 
rolling. Okay. Oh, wow. Two successes from there, and... Sorry, I'm. Was that uh, recent roll from you, Keevan? The recent, the most recent one. Yes, yep. it was. Okay, so that is a grand total of five successes. So you are able to perform some technological voodoo. Uh, that's now Trekno Babble. And the, for the sake of argument, the station is now sitting at about power level of six. Uh, turbo lifts are once again fully operational. Um, the most important thing is that security containment fields are once again operating, and Rami is at able to assist again. <clears throat> okay. Outside. How many momentum did we gain? Uh, one momentum. Okay, now. Ah, fooey. Outside, what is going on here is that the the uh, two Ectomi cruisers are have positioned themselves in between the Lunette and the uh, Nighthawk. And the two surviving dreadnoughts. <clears throat> um, the dreadnoughts are beginning to launch several small uh, uh, Tholian shuttles, those conical sized scale one um, sh Tholian ships, and they begin making a beeline to the station. Uh, we're primarily going to do this narration, narration style now as combat is more or less out of the... We're not doing this in combat order at the moment. Alrighty then. So you said the both ships and the Nighthawk is positioned in between them? Yeah, so the small cruisers. So they're, they're basically where they are positioned on the map. So wherever mm -hmm. your ship is in the station, the Iktomi cruisers are attempting to run interference, let's say. And each of these larger ships are beginning to launch about 60 smaller ones from inside their massive gargantuan frames. And they're beginning to beeline to the station at incredible speed. Well, at this point, we just need a... Uh... In this, we just need more hands for firepower, so I think everybody knows what that means. Let's go uh, take the Spectre out to go assist in uh, taking down these uh, these transports. Okay. I'm already on board, Captain. Yeah. Can Demos beam aboard the station? Sure. Um, are you willing to beam the let the station shields go down long enough for you to do so? Well, I guess that's a Captain decision, but yes. Do uh, gonna interfere with that for a question? Do do we can we have is there a way for us to actually try, maybe not even, if we could get the, I'm like stuttering so much today, I'm sorry. If we could get the correct shield frequency, maybe he could just beam through the shield since we're both Federation ships anyway. If we could just request that. Hmm. Um, if you had two momentum to spend, actually, um, because of the station's AI core, you could spend one momentum and I will let you have that advantage. Then I have uh, no problem in uh, doing so. Whether Pete wants to be the command on the Lunette or the Nighthawk, regardless of which that's sending the order. Um, but yeah, go ahead and uh, okay. I'd go for it. Okay. If nobody else has any yeah. objections. Go for it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so the station agrees to keep shield frequencies at whatever modulation, but can only do so for so long, so make it quick. Um, so beaming from transporter pad to transporter pad, your guys are within yep. close range. That'll be uh, control engineering, difficulty of two. And the ship can assist with uh, sensors plus engineering. So that would be 
and because the lunette has that, it now becomes a difficulty one test. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do the transport roll. Okay. And roll for the ship. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think they okay. have a transport chief for the lunette. Yeah, control engineering. Okay. Don't scatter me. Of course. Complication, complication. Of, complication. of course I won't. And for fun, I'm going to spend threat and increase the uh, threat range 18 to 20. <laughs> Holding on to Midas as I'm on the pad. Buy, spend a threat to. I will buy a. I give you a threat to get an extra d20. Okay. And. Um, okay. Would computers or start? Would computers work for a focus or? No, not for this. I, if you no, had no. sensor operations or transporters, eye targeting yeah. scans, something like that would work. But yeah. no, okay, yeah, no, no focus for you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, well, so I'm rolling ship now. Yeah, you roll ship. Let's see, that was sensors engineering yep. again? Yeah, sensors engineering. This is beginning to look like the Nighthawk. <laughs> <laughs> Transport Chiefs all went to the same class. Mm. Okay, so you do get one point of momentum. Uh, two points. You did say it was uh, a difficulty, difficulty one. one. You're right. I apologize. Been a longer day than I thought, apparently. Yep. Okay. Um, are you going to let that complication stand? You could put the two momentum against it to cancel. I personally uh, would like you to keep the complication because I have ideas for it, but you know. Uh, yeah, I think momentum. we could probably use the momentum. The momentum's probably good for later. Okay. Yeah. Very well. Very well. So for, um,. Demos, you rematerialize on board the station's um, transporter pad behind Ops. Midas is nowhere to be found. Um, a quick check of your mental, of your neural link, shows that Midas is, that the transporter buffer was not programmed to deal with Midas's uh, signature, and he is still on the lunette. Oh, I, I just sigh. <laughs> Midas just kind of blinks and looks at Yamato and slowly drifts further, he's like, you're lucky, <laughs> and he just drifts <laughs> off. Right. Yeah, Midas just goes, I'm free, and darts away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we are launching uh, the Spectre against various um, small craft. Um, just for narration's sake, um, roll me uh, two sets of daring plus control... Daring plus con there, uh, Erkin. Okay. And we will get copyright striked, so I will not play uh, uh, Danger Zone. But, you know, anybody uh, watching like, could yeah. start, you know. Yeah, hum, it, hum it now. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to focus my yeah. trajectory on the little the little uh, green ants that are, are, oh, you're, are crawling on. Oh, you're, you're strafing the station. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Oh, I'm strafing the station. Oh. The shuttles haven't, haven't landed yet, so... Uh, the, the shuttles haven't landed yet. No, they have not. <clears throat> if I could get a couple of pot shots in beforehand. Okay. Uh, uh, just roll damage. I'm... <laughs> does the does the Spectre's ship um, weapons include the plus two damage for being close range cannons? Um, are What are they classified as? Are they Do they say cannons? Yeah. So cannons. Cannons. Yes. Close range versus L2. Let's quick, take a quick look here. I don't know what you want. Uh, six off. phaser cannons. Yeah, let's see. Two, two, six. Yeah, that, that already includes the plus two for cannons. Okay. Does it include the plus two for, for close range? Um, I believe that's already included in the f damage. Okay. Yeah, so I believe six is accurate for this. Cool.
four. Definitely not enough to damage the station at all. Oh, sorry, was someone speaking? Oh, sorry, that was my bad. Anything from the ship? Um, I'm not going to bother rolling at this. He's close range and shooting at basically targets on this. Just straight. He's doing strafing runs, not targeted uh, attacks. Roger. Yeah, so... Okay. You just see little green poofs as they get dis disappear. Okay. Uh, you deal... Yep, yeah, uh, there are sm small poofs of green as your phaser cannons uh, leave scorch marks on the hull, maybe crack a couple windows, but in the end you deal more... Uh, you save more than you harm. Or Okay, yeah. once I'm satisfied that there's a sufficient amount of them not on the station, I will turn my direction to the incoming shuttles. Okay. Um, I should mention that at this point, uh, Admiral Zier's ship, the USS Ushan, has departed from the working space door and flies around to assist. And she's going to park herself right around there. <clears throat> Anybody actually listening to her on comms would hear all sorts of colorful Andorian swear words. Unbefitting of an admiral. Okay, so. Um, I would like all uh, uh, everyone who is currently actively attacking the, on, the oncoming flood of ships to roll me a... Uh, whoever's roll, whoever's the tactical officer, uh, please roll me a difficulty three, control plus security, and the ships can assist with weapons plus security. I want to see how effective this is. And uh, demos do um, fire at will on all small moving targets. Um, from the station. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, I will do so, but for you, that would be a difficulty of four. Yep. Okay. I, uh, uh, Larce can take over the uh, tactical officer role. No, you don't. I already have. We get a momentum. Yep, you get a momentum, and you deal with a lot uh, of them. Cool. I'm going to burn a momentum from, uh, the night, for the Nighthawk as well. Okay. I'll actually do the same. Look at all these combat Ooh. personnel rolling. Yeah. I'm so proud of them. Aside from Helsing, who's not. Oh, and yeah. Demos. And Demos. Yeah. Time and everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Helsing. I well, I suppose Helsing would get assistance from the Nighthawk yeah. and uh, Nighthawk. Demos from the station. Yeah, they could roll because it's just possible they could crit. So someone roll Nighthawk. Someone roll station. I'll roll station. Weapon security. That'll do it. And I don't... Right. Did Urkin roll his... Nope. Ur, Urkin. I, I rolled that I rolled really... I got two successes. Total. Oh, did you? Um, That's odd. It's yeah, just above oh, me. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see him now. Woo! There we go. Okay. Three for each. That did that. Not so much on the Nighthawk, though. But the station did okay. You told me it was a four. Yeah, I did. This is the only thing that's a three. Yeah, so. I know. You did okay. You shoot down a good amount, but still, let's roll. 2D. Okay. So of the 100 or so that the ships have launched, or 120 or so that the ships have launched, uh, 45 of them zip right past all of your uh, weapons and start zipping under the station and right into the uh, shuttle base that the commander had ordered that the crew begin to evacuate from. Or that they... <clears throat> so you now have 45 Tholians on the ship, or on the station. 45 Tholians or 45 ships with Tholians in them? 45 Tholians. Okay. Each each ship yeah. contained... Uh, each ship contained anywhere from 1 to 3 Tholians. The first few would have died on their, you know, forcing breaches in on the shuttle base. And then the rest have swarmed in. 
Um, Great. Thanks, guys. Yeah. So, uh, Captain on the Captain Crawford on the bridge, uh, whoever has relieved Commander Dolrum at tactical, dutifully informs you that, sir, the bugs have breached the shuttle bays on uh, deck 70. Rami? Yes, Captain. How can we best deal with Tholians? Either killing them or knocking them out? If they could be exposed to the Class M atmosphere, it would cause them a significant amount of distress. Uh, it would require puncturing their environmental suits. Perhaps if someone could perform an evaluation on one of their EV suits, a weakness could be found. Oh, boy. Okay, and at that note, we are going to cut down to engineering, which is... I actually have. So the station's reactor room, which I do not believe has actually been seen yet until this day. At the very bowels of the ship comes out Captain Cro or Commander Dolrum. I have a lot of characters. Where is Dolrum? There's Dolrum. And let's say one of the security officers. There will be a couple other red, sh yellow shirts. But let's well, bring Dura we'll out. Yep, I was about to... Because Dura is a badass. I can bring Hennis out if needed. <laughs> ah, I have other... I think Hennis might be otherwise engaged with other Tholians. Okay. And there are currently... Two Breen soldiers that have taken up uh, pot shots, or that have taken up position behind two uh, reinforced bulkheads and have been pinned down uh, Dura's team, Commander. So you arrive through, let's say, the rear end, and Dura's team is at the other. So I'll be behind the... Uh... Correct. So I will give you the first shot. Question. Would you do the escalation if I were to have a type? Um, I would take the threat if you uh, if you took it. Then yes, I would take the the threat. And I would spend the, es I would spend the escalation to give them disruptor rifles. Yes. I will do the Type 3 so I have a little bit longer range. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Brain Soldier, Brain Soldier. Okay. Um, you will have the drop on them, so you or Dura could roll first. I'll go ahead and roll. All right. Hand phasers work as a focus. That will do it, yep. I'll give you a threat for a third die. I like threat, thank you. Question, would my quick to action work in the, since we're in a new round of combat? I would say that it would, yes. That's a really nice roll. Yeah. Yes, it is. That uh, normally would be a difficulty, I think, of two, and you rolled five. So that's three momentum. And diet, uh, challenge dice is four plus my security? That's right. Oh, holy mackerel. That's, uh, yeah. Uh, so even with their armor adding resistance, that is enough to cause one of them an injury. <clears throat> uh, so which one do you want to knock out, Dalrum? Okay. Oh, you have, you, that pit. Yeah, you cut out again. Sorry, man. Sorry, I keep dropping. Yeah, your internet your internet must not be 
all that great tonight. You know, the risks, the risk of uh, games online. Thing. Okay, so he is going to suffer an injury, but he is going to. I'm going to spend uh, two threat, or sorry, uh, three threat for him to spend his determination, and he will continue to act, even though next time might be lethal. I'll let, use my quick action to let Dura have an attack. Okay, who wants to roll Dura? I shall. Okay. Um. Uh, hmm. So currently they have mm -hmm. cover from your position. So attacking them is going right. to increase difficulty. Uh, could I use my minor action to move into a more advantageous position for that? Sure, we can do that. Sure, okay. Okay, so minor action to move, and then your regular action to shoot. Um, or do what you want. Yes. Okay. But I'll... Um, I'll spend a momentum to take an extra minor action, and oh, I'll use it okay. to aim and hit the one that hasn't been hit yet. Ah, so the one closer to Dalrum. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And let's see. And she has Dead Eye Marksman, so the difficulty is only one for this. Nice. <clears throat> And I'll also spend a momentum for a third dot. Okay. Well, that's a hit. And that's one momentum right back. So that be eight challenge dice? Uh, that, yeah. F f yeah, so your security was four? Yep, so... Yep, yep, so that'd be eight for you. Six. Okay. I'll spend a momentum to re-roll those zeros. Aw. Do you have to? Okay. <laughs> okay, that is enough to break their resistance and cause them an injury. I don't have a heck of a lot of threat left. Could you give me more threat, please? Um, then... And you He's going to just... He's going to go down with an injury and take him out of the fight. Okay. Um, how many momentum is it to keep the initiative? Or because of Dorm's quick to action, yeah. I can't, like, take another action? I don't believe you can. Um, I think you can spend one momentum to keep moment to keep initiative. Okay. Yeah. Because it... Can I... Because isn't quick task, I think, is that two momentum? I think... Oof. Uh, I do not remember the rules at the task is team momentum, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. Um I'll do Yeah, I'll do quick task to fire again at the other one. Okay. And because I have fire at will, the difficulty doesn't increase. <laughs> okay. And you've already taken your move action to negate their cover, so yeah. Or your quick action I should say. Roll damage. Okay, so that'll be a hit. Yes, it would. And one more momentum for you guys. He burnt two, though, right there, right? Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. Um. Oof. Dura um... and I are deadly. Yeah. Yeah. Is that enough, like, with resistance to cause another injury, I'm yeah, assuming? Yeah, that's enough to... Yeah, so even after the resistance of the armor, um, your stun effect kicks in. Uh, he will, or she, we don't know what it is under the armor, will slump to the deck, but will fall in such a way that the neck hits the railing with a nasty crunch. And the whole body drops like a sack of potatoes with the neck lolling around in a unnatural position good job Dura you're a murderer <laughs> Dura will just kind of look to the commander alright we're next 
Just got word Tholians are boarding the state uh, station shuttle base. One of the engineers who's taken cover behind one of the reactor control, or inside one of the control rooms, doll room, uh, quickly waves, Commander, Commander, there was a third. I don't know where it went. And I'll grab out my tricorder and try a scan. Okay. Um, this will be an insight plus security. Uh, this will be a difficulty of three. Starbase protocol come in focus come into place. Uh, sorry, which one was that? Starbase protocol. Sure, I'll let that run. I'll give you a threat for a third die. Yay, threat. Okay. Apparently, I'm not that great at it. No. Um, I will let Dora assist. There's a possibility that she could crit. If, sure. If yeah. you have something like intruder detection or tracking or even investigation. And keep in mind, this is an activation. You could give her any of those talents or focuses, I should say. Yeah, actually use that to give her value, but... Um... Fair enough. Maybe this determination works. Maybe. Uh, I gave her the one of first to enter, last to leave. Mm, no, sorry. That's not going to work here. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh boy. That's a complication. Oh, crit. <laughs> That's a uh, crit on the wrong side of the dice there, Dura. Nope. Um, I'm afraid that you have no idea where the third one's gone. And just because of that, I'm going to say that the third one has moved far further along than I had allowed how I had narratively let him go. Or her. Who knows? So, cool. So, uh, repelling the Tholian invasion, rather than it breaking down into a series of long, drawn-out personnel-on-personnel actions, um, I'm just going to turn this into a bit of a, a pseudo-extended task. Where we, And this is going to have a time limit, so it is going to, depending on how much work gets done by the end of it, will determine what the causes are to the station. So, um, anyone with a, anyone actively acting in ways to deter the security or, or the Tholian invasion can, can act and likewise could assist. Uh, so this is going to be a very difficult task. So this is going to start off with a difficulty of five. It's going to have a work track of 19, magnitude of 4, and there's always one of these that I forget, and it is difficulty 5, work track 4, magnitude. Ah, phooey. Resistance? Thank you, resistance. Resistance of 3. I shouldn't have said anything. <clears throat> um, so who wants to roll first we'll go to um, ops where demos is currently demos I have working. one question about Tholians here uh, yes um, the Tholians wear suits if I recall right that is correct. Their environment is non-class M, so they have to wear their environmental suits. Um, I'm going to try something with Nia, actually. Hmm. Okay. Would it, would it be possible to, using the experimental device he has, um, possibly hack into their suits and 
God, this is going to be mean if I can do this. Mm -hmm. Um, Find a way to just pump Class M atmosphere into the suits. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, I like this. Oh, my. Um, The problem is, let's get someone to roll the first task so that... And I will flavor it as an escort action to get Nia close enough to some Tholians to do this. Does that sound good? That sounds fine by me. Okay. Not to be a party pooper, but... Federation protocol dictates that we incapacitate. Doing this will kill. Mm. I guess I could just do it to open the suits, but... Uh... Still die because they have to have a very intense temperature. <laughs> I mean, how about you right, just... kill is a type of incapacitate. <laughs> now, there's a value if I've ever heard, ever heard one. <laughs> um, you know, as much as I am as a GM, you could, you could try to just lock the suits up. Um, that is not as fun, though. True. I know, but that's not as fun. Like, like they said, that's not as fun. I mean, if I take one threat yeah. for each Tholian you quote unquote incapacitate in the manner that you suggest, hmm. Oh, God. <clears throat> um, sure. Let's just go for the locking up portion then. So they can't move. Mm -hmm. Don't let these people curtail your fun. Follow your dreams. Uh, keep in mind, you do have an admiral, like, literally right outside the station watching your every move, Captain. She's too I'm busy totally cursing. not saying that so I can go Inquisition on Cerberus Station. No, sir. <laughs> All right, who's doing what? Demos is going to hunker down and lock up Ops as tight as he can. Okay. Uh, is that going to work towards the extended task, or is this going to be a separate task? Uh, extended task. Okay. So run the... Uh, this will be a, probably in this case, a reason plus security. Oh, shit. Okay. Because <laughs> you're... Um, and... Force fields as a focus, because he yeah. wants to make Force... sure that they can't be tampered. Force fields will work. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Keith... Lieutenant Keevan could assist. Heck, the station could assist. Um... Yeah, I'll look at Keevan. <laughs> Just like... I need power for force fields. Everything you got routed this way. Will do. So do a um, modulate power or transfer power? Something similar to that. Yeah. So you're you're just assisting in this case. So um, you could use control or daring plus engineering. And yeah, Demos station would two. be. Station would be structure security? Uh, yes. Structure security in this case. And I'll let both Keevan and the station roll. Keep in mind, you guys do have determination. And the well, first... Not people are making their rolls. Is there any way for the Nighthawk to assist? Uh, not in this instance. Oh, um, right, if then. It, you could assist in other ways, I'm sure. Uh, beaming extra security personnel to the station... Um, or beaming the bre or beaming them off of the station. Yeah. Oh, that's you got four successes. Um, I kind of want to let that succeed at cost, but at the same time, I also kind of want to. Nope. I'm going to. Unless Demos spends his determination to re-roll that zero, um, this first task is going to fail, and the. Already uh, spent it in the. Uh, yeah, you did. Okay. Uh. You lock it down. Our ops is uh, locked down, but the bugs don't seem to be paying much attention to ops at the moment. Uh, internal scanners show that they are actually heading towards the computer and AI cores. And that is where Durr and I will intercept. Okay. <clears throat> so, at this point, we are... <laughs> Yes. 
At this point, we are going to cut to the uh, AI core, which is around here. You're not here. You're not here. You are here. Okay, so Commander Daldrum and Krumandura, you arrive just as the third and final Breen um, enters through or cycles through the uh, airlock uh, in his full armor and enters the AI core. Uh, Mei Loon uh, under, uh, is seeming to seems to dart away at the uh, fully armed and armored Breen that is currently entered entering into the uh, his domain. So are they in the room with me? Or... Uh, no, the no? you you are in the room by yourself. So Dalram and Dura could either enter and take complications from being in a underwater environment. They could spend some time to get suited up, in which case you would have some free time to do whatever the heck you want. Um, <clears throat> or Dalram could find a interesting solution to the matter at hand. So, if it's my turn... May as well be, sure. Uh, I will say that Dora's just going to rush in. Okay, damn Full power. Mm -hmm. I'm blasting at that AI core. Ooh, fun. Okay, uh, roll me some challenge dice, please. Quickly from, like, a panel outside. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what was that, um, Dalrum? Can I try to quickly put a force field up around the AI core? Uh, to, sure. Um, roll me a daring plus security difficulty three. And keep in mind that uh, Rami is still active and you could spend the momentum for an advantage. Would my... Starbase protocol uh, focus come into play here or survive? I'd say uh, Starbase protocols would do the trick. Awesome. So it you said it was a daring? Uh, daring security. That's right. Are you still roll challenge dice or do I have to make an attack now? Um, if, he do, if he can't make it, then we'll see what... If he, either way, roll me challenge dice. I'm going to burn one of my saved milestones to give me a determination. Okay. Of, I must defend my... That sounds like a good milestone to save. Or to tap. Good value to tap, I should say. And then I am going to give you... Uh, is it two... Uh, two threat for the third die. Uh, yep, that's accurate. Can I give you a threat to reroll those zeros? Hmm. Uh, are yeah, yeah. Spend. Yep. Uh, I will. As we're technically going PvP. That's seven successes. <sighs> oh, oh, holy moly! Okay, that's a lot of uh. Mo uh, so that's four extra momentum. Right. Don't yeah. do you want to track that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, keep for the moment keep that as a separate pool there for you, Dolrum, just in case uh, Jensen wants to get a little uh, extra PvP ish. Okay, roll me some challenge dice there, Jensen. Okay, here's the four rerolls. Okay. So that is five. So 10 total, and that's Vicious. Vicious 1? Yep. 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 So that is a grand total of 13. So the force field goes in place just as the beam hits it. Uh, the beam is enough to overwhelm the uh, force field, but not enough to damage the core. And it's at this point that Dura has entered the combat arena. And if someone wants to, you know, try doing something with Meiloon to then, you know, go for it. 
Um. Um. Question about the computer cord. Yes. Does it retract down into the water? Like we can have Meilun retract the core so it's protected. Not in not in this instance, um, because the core eh, the AI core requires a constant flow of water around it, and hence why the dome is so big. It's just to maintain the volume of water that has to constantly pump through in order to keep the core cool. How chilled is this water? Um. It is uh, kept at a, let's see, it is roughly, uh, let's see, so it's slightly colder than a pool, I would say it's about 70 degrees. So it's chilly, but not unbearable. Okay. Um. Uh, actually, it's, it's Dura's turn, so who wants to roll Dura? Or whoever wants to roll Meilun? Either one of them can um, do something. I'll roll Dura. Okay. Um... Hey, Dora. Do I happen to have any momentum myself? Um, I will uh, tell you what. I will spend four threat and give you two momentum. Okay. And I think yes, that, drain, that drains me on threat, so, you know, spend it. Can I use two momentum to keep the initiative? Um... No, not in this instance. I've already told Jura okay. to do so. That's her turn. <laughs> okay. Hey, Dora. Yes. I'm not sure if the GM would allow this, but would I be allowed to steal some of your momentum for this? I would think so, because it's you guys acting against him. I'm okay with you guys sharing the pool. Cool. Um, I'm going to use a minor action to charge and give it Vicious 1. Okay. Now, keep in yeah. mind, uh, you are in an unfamiliar environment and not properly suited for it, so uh, all task increases by one difficulty. Okay. Is she within melee range? Um, close enough, I would think, okay. if he wishes. I mean, we're, we're, we're trying to imagine three-dimensional space at the moment with a two-dimensional board. Yeah. Um, I'll take a momentum to take an extra minor action to aim. Okay. And then, obviously, I don't know who this brain is. I'm just going to fire. Okay. Um, so is it... What's the difficulty? Uh, this will be typically it's a control security difficulty two, but given that you're underwater and probably not breathing all that easily, that would be difficulty three. Okay, well, uh, Dead Eye Marksman brings that down by one, so it's still two. Mm -hmm. Um, could I spend? Uh. Doris' determination for first to enter, last to leave, to get two successes? I would let that happen in this case, yes. Cool. Then I'll just go ahead and roll my standard two here. Because she was first through the door. Oh, wow. So that is five successes, so three momentum. Yep, and then eight challenge die. Eight challenge dice. Okay, and I don't believe that's enough to cause injury with the after adding the armor resistance for the brain. Well, that would be eight because I charged oh, it for vicious charged. one. Charged, yeah. Eight. One, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what is the resistance on the Breen armor again? I think it was two. Crawford, spend a momentum and reroll those three. <laughs> I mean, sure, sure. Okay. We'll use a momentum to reroll the. Um. So make that ten instead okay. of eight. Okay. Um, unless you're going to pull something fancy out, um, there. 
Uh, she says, no, that might be enough to cause an uh, injury. Still brings it, yeah, it brings it down, but I can do a void injury, I believe, right? I Yep, you could spend your determination in order to avoid it. But I think that's it. I could also use momentum for that too, right? Uh, let me look. Injury. Injuries and healing, 177. <clears throat> Draws out a fight. Injury can come from a reasonable attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's yep. two momentum, mm -hmm. and you still take the stress damage. You just don't get the injury. Right. And uh, if you take another injury, it's an automatic lethal injury. And then if you take two injuries, you're dead, period. Right. What he said. So here's the two momentum. Okay. Do... Okay. So you, mm. av you avoid it. Oh man, what do I want to do here? Yeah, this guy's trying to destroy the AI core. Yeah, he is. Wait, uh, what... Yeah, um, I'll do. Uh, is the extra minor, or yeah, the extra quick actions? Is that a repeatable momentum spend? I don't believe it is. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Keep things rolling. Yep. Um, uh, well, if, I was going to do yeah. the two momentum for quick task to fire again. Uh, if you fire again, that'll be di uh, difficult base difficulty of four. So with well, your... I have fire at will. Yep. That would make so it three. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, underwater. Yeah. So it would still be underwater, which adds difficult. Yeah. So basic basic it would be two, add one for the water. Yeah. Okay. So still difficulty three. Um, and then I'll spend, let's make it three momentum, so I have four dice total to roll. Okay. okay. Not enough, I'm afraid. It Near was just difficulty, difficulty three. three. Oh, I'm so sorry, three I still successes. have difficulty four in my head for whatever reason. <laughs> I apologize. I am trying to keep track of other things. Sorry. Yes, difficulty three. Yep. My bad. I'm not on my game tonight. Wait, I am so, so we sorry. Have... We still have momentum, don't we, Dorum? Two. Wait, because those two were quick tasks. Yeah, you yeah. just used it. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, challenge dice. Yep, eight. Oh, boy. Um. Can't... I... Could I give those? <laughs> I don't think you can give me threat to re-roll those. I mean, he can, yeah. but you can say no. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. I want to see what uh, Jensen does. Speaking of which, Jensen. I fire at the core. Okay. Uh, minor action to charge, if I can do that too with a plasma weapon. I believe... I don't think that the Breen no. Disruptor Rifle... Rifle yeah, you can't charge, charge that. Nope. Only thing okay. that'll charge are your phasers. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll aim and then fire again. Okay. Roll me some dice. And am I just rolling challenge dice, or do I have to? Uh, roll, roll to hit. So. Uh, Control. And because you're it? you're in your armor, so this is DC two for you. You're not worrying about okay. you know holding your breath. And determination. I'm perfection manifest. Okay. And. Okay. <clears throat> Three. Okay. That's enough to hit, so roll challenge dice. Seven. Seven. Uh, eight because of Vicious. So. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, the core takes a serious pounding. Um, it is still intact, but good a good chunk of its um, external plating has burned away in a flurry of um, air bubbles and whatnot. Meilun releases a shrill screech as he 
uh, quickly darts in to investigate what's going on, and then question. Yes. That success. I determination was two. Mm -hmm. That's actually a momentum for me, right? Uh, yes, it would be. Okay. <clears throat> I'm using the two momentum to shoot again. Oh, quick action. Okay. I like how it's all silent here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything to do other than put Meilun between you and the core. And... Firing again. Okay. That's... Even... Yeah. Oh, That's not it. Rolling. Roll again. And that That's is. Ten. So what was part? What was in the core is now no more. Um, Hi, Rami. The station sort of goes eerily silent for a split second, as any apparitions of Rami that have been active on the station immediately uh, flick away without any um, indication that something is wrong. Um, Meloon starts. Uh, wailing as his work needs to be rebuilt. Um, so for the moment, uh, the station talent of integrated AI is void. So if you want to spend momentum on the station, it now is the standard two. And we have no momentum, right? No, you have none. Everyone spent all of theirs. So, um, Anything you guys would like to play out, or any before I change the scene to uh, focus back on the Tholians? Um, I mean the mm. problem is, is I can't bring in area because we don't have the two momentum for me to spend. Yeah. To bring me. Yeah. Can I Can initially I have... attempt to fire again? If you'd like, sure. I mean, yeah, she's going to try. Okay. I Can I initialize a force field? Or... Um, that would be a daring security. Get out. Yeah. The moment that core blows, mm -hmm. my hands are up. Uh, so Michael Jensen is attempting to surrender. I'm just, then I'm going to just put a security force field around him and come back later after we deal with... Uh... Okay. <clears throat> they still don't know it's Jensen, though, right? Uh, no, they, they have. Oh, they don't know. We're about to figure out. Yeah, they will at some <laughs> point. Okay, so wider scene. So we still have a fairly big task for dealing with the Tholians. Uh, whoops, wrong map. This one here. And which? crew cruiser wishes to attempt the difficulty five test um we could try to thing with nia okay at this Hacking stage yeah. suits and lock them up i'll give it a go and yeah uh he's not asking dorm or crawford for permission to do this so what it would be probably what daring engineering yep Daring Engineering, difficulty of five. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend the determination I just gave him. Okay. Which is better to beg forgiveness than to ask permission. <laughs> Love it. Okay. And I will give you two threat for a... Wait. Oh, experimental device gives me an advantage. It does, yes. Uh, but it does increase the complication range by two. Correct. So in this case, I will allow the advantage to decrease the difficulty by one. Yep. I think and that would be that fair. that would make the complication range, what, 18 to 20? Yep, that's right. Okay. So that's auto two successes. And then, yeah, I'll give you two threat for a third die. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I have threat again. <clears throat> uh, 
So that That's is five successes. Five successes. So you didn't even need my pity. <laughs> okay, so that's one momentum for you guys. Uh, roll your work. So roll challenge dice equal to two plus your engineering. Yep, so that'll be six. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So that's not a heck of a lot. That's not enough to get past the resistance. This is a resistance three task. Yeah. Um. You could spend that momentum to re-roll the zeros or increase... Uh, piercing, because that's still a thing you yeah. can do. Um, would you allow uh, momentum for the reroll and then a threat for piercing? Ooh, sure, I'll take that. Just because I want more threat, so I'll take it. Okay. I should also check to s nope. That was a fifteen. So that so shaves off five resistance. Uh, no, that, the, so you gave me threat to... Oh, because it's piercing two. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, that's right. so it's now resistance one, so you, so you've done four on the work track. So, um, however, that is not enough to actually achieve a breakthrough. You needed five for that. So the, res yep. so the difficulty and the resistance, I believe, remain the same. Uh, we're just now at work track 15. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, through your um, elite hacking system, you're able to fig you're able to s break through the uh, Tholian's extremely complicated um, encryption scheme. It's quite impressive, actually. Starfleet could probably learn something from them. But then again, they'd have to rebuild their computer core from scratch. And you're able to determine how to lock them up. So um, the problem now lies in actually deploying the signal um, to affect all of them. Roughly around the time Nia completes this, um, Rami disappears from the station. So, who wants to roll next? This could be anything from security rolls to engineering rolls, science rolls, if you can trek no babble your way through them. Heck, yes, I'd like to uh, polarize the auxiliary manifold and uh, just completely uh, com repolarize the hull so that they lose traction on it. There you go. Well, that'll deal with ones outside that are still outside the station, so sure. You can use your intelligence abilities if you'd like. Well, cool. Uh, what, what attribute discipline? Uh, let's see. So that will either be... So this will be daring science or daring engineering, whichever one you'd like. I like daring science because I have a one sure. in engineering. Oh. And the station can assist, if it wishes, with uh, structure plus... Uh, let's say structure plus engineering or structure plus security. I don't have determination. We don't have any momentum. Have six threat. Cool. Yay threat. Okay. Uh, I shouldn't have done it. Yeah, because that's oh, going to be boy. a fail even if the station rolls a crit. Yeah. So that's fail with a complication. Okay. So the uh, Tholians at this point have breached the shuttle bays and have, and are moving their way in through the uh, corridors and in through these fabrication bays. And sadly, they're not stopping. <clears throat> okay, right. who's next? What are the Dreadnoughts up to right now? The Dreadnoughts are currently holding position. They want to see what happens with the... Uh, forces on board. They're not ejecting any more passenger or any more ships, but they're not making any move to leave either. Well, they're not going to leave. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, I'm I'm done. And then Alec. Oh. Oh no, it's okay. Um, I was going to chase after the shuttles that are still going past, so sort of like okay. in the same time frame. Um apologize profusely to the captain of the station 
and launch tor and launch a couple of torpedoes into the bay that they're docked in. Oh ho ho! Okay, I like this. Okay, he'll he'll allow this, but this is because of, <laughs> this is because he's desperate. <laughs> okay, so, so real, real real quick, it just occurred to me why you never give your players transporters. Are the transporters online? Transporters are online. Uh, do we have our shields up? Uh, shields are currently up. Yes. Okay. What's stopping us beaming them sight to sight from within the shields to the brig? I'm not entirely sure that the brig can handle um, 45 Tholians and one Mi Michael Jensen, but you can certainly beam as many as possible. Well, also, I'll in a cargo bay then or something. That, but my yeah. point stands that it might be less damaging if somebody just transports our problem our way. Yeah, that could work. Or off station altogether. I mean, Hels I like Helsing's idea. Blow up the station. No. Yeah. Or we just no. space them. Bad. <laughs> or we just space them. Yeah. Other option. Yes, you have those options. So, uh, Alec, I believe, was going to fire some missiles. So. Yes. Uh, with, the, with the captain's uh, proactive apology. <laughs> Better seek forgiveness than permission. permission. Proactive. You have permission from the only captain that matters there to go for it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's that's the captain of his command chain. That's the only one he needs to worry about. Back. So, yep. Back. Okay. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. I. If you succeed, I will. Yeah. This will be. Yeah. This. Uh. This will be daring security. Uh. Ship will assist with weapon security. I got the ship. Right, I am going to use my determination. Okay. Now, which determination is that? Uh, no matter what, I have to try. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. <clears throat> we have no momentum, but I'll give you a threat for an extra dice. Awesome. Considering his uh, crazy <laughs> no. oh, Wait, wouldn't yeah. it be... No, well... <laughs> okay, that is a success. That's a weapon success, that's for sure. Um, well, what's the... Sh oh, Spectre didn't roll. Spectre didn't yeah. roll. I'm First going to allow this as a... Spectre rolled but missed. Yeah. I'm going to roll this as a success against the work track. Um, so, roll me a challenge dice. Um... And I will count it against the work track. Just one challenge dice? Uh, nope. Uh, roll whatever your missile's challenge dice is. Five. All right. And does it have vicious one or anything like that? I don't remember. Uh, uh, high, uh, high yield. Oh, high yield. Cool. Okay. Just going to go ahead and take two breaches on the structure. Yep. That's... Congratulations, Alec. You caused more damage to the station than the Tholian Dreadnoughts did. I have to try. Yes, you do. <laughs> <sighs> oh, wow. Um, wow. Oh, thank bad. God. <laughs> uh, I had two successes, so there's some momentum into my attack, right? Thank you, Clyde. Uh, <laughs> yes, there would be one. You'd have one momentum from that, so you could reroll those zeros if you wanted to. I would like to. Okay. And now we're back down to zero momentum. <laughs> Imagine not trusting my crew, dude. There's a reason why he's on the ship and not Jefferson. <laughs> Wait, did he reroll the damage to the station? <laughs> yes, yes he did. <laughs> I, I, I... Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Rerolling the damage to the enemies? The station is secondary. Okay. At this point there might be more enemies than crew on the station. Okay, so that's a grand total of five damage. Not as much as... Breach. Well, it does have high yield. so oh, I, I've already yeah. marked off a few breaches. Yeah, because he's firing from within, the the damage is caught coming from within the shields, so I'm counting it as breaches. Which, so, which means, McCall, yeah. you need to roll me two challenge dice. Yes, I do. Because if you roll an effect, somebody's lethally injured. Yeah. Two challenge dice... No effect. Right. Congratulations. Just a few civilians. They don't matter. 
Perfect. The, the, uh, they are sufficiently yeah. dealt with. Yep, so the nice. Tholians are done. Uh, work track is decreased by another five. Okay. Um, I'm going to say for that complication disrupts the the force fields in that area as well. So, yeah, the force fields for all of the decks, um, I think they were decks 30 through decks 20, are gone. Allowing the Tholians easier access within the station. So, you know, plus and minus. Who wants to try something next? Okay. <clears throat> um, I was thinking I might have something. So oh, Okay. A li little bit of a spitball here. Um just because I'd like to jump in a little bit. So there'll probably be a, a over on the Nighthawk, uh, a calm to the bridge. Well, we're picking you up, Doctor. What seems to be okay. the problem? So so I, 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 I see all the disturbance that's going up. Uh, it looks like we're dealing with a lot of Tholians, and I'm flipping through my textbooks on Tholians and flip, flip, flip. I think I have an idea. If we change, um, if we add... Um, I, I'm, I don't know. And, and a rare element to one of the deflectors, we, their, their biochemistry means that if I change just one little atom here and there, just to kind of rearrange, it should just tickle most humans and other races. But to them, it'll act as a possible sedative. And just kind of broadcast that over the station. We can put a lot of the invaders uh, asleep, I think. Okay, that seems perfectly fine to me. Just spitballing. That's that's yeah. what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. Uh, Would so... you lump this into the? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh no! Please go ahead, Captain. I was gonna say, would you lump this uh, plan into like the extent uh, the work track currently? I would or... guess. Yep. Okay. Everything you do is going against the work track. Fantastic. Then I have no problem like committing other onboard ship resources into this. Okay. okay. Uh, so the current work track is thus. Okay. So how do we feel about um, what what kind of check would that be? Well, you guys haven't actually had a full breakthrough yet, so the difficulty is still five. Uh, this is okay. going to be a daring medicine test for you to figure things out. Okay. Um, someone can. Uh, one of the science officers can assist, or engineering could assist, in configuring the deflector array. Uh, so Bashir or Thashran could assist with um, control plus engineering. And the ship, sure. the ship can assist with, uh, let's say, structure plus engineering. Did you say this was control plus engineering? Control engineering, yes. Okay, so I still have my determination. Yep. Um, can I... Okay, so how, remind me how that works. Um, can I use that beforehand to get two successes? Yep, so you could use... Uh, determination is typically spent in two ways at this stage. One, you can roll it for the, an automatic third dice that has rolled one, which means two successes. Okay. Or you could spend it after the roll is done to re-roll any zeros. Okay, let me use the, the former, so that means two successes, and I still roll the two d20s, right? That is correct. Okay. Okay, so nothing from Shran, I'm afraid. Of all the times for the random number generator not to be so hot. Um, would advanced medical techniques possibly apply to this as a focus? I will allow that, or exobiology, if you have that, either oh. or. Xenobiology. Xenobiology, that works. Nice. Okay. So that's four, including my determination? That would be right, yep. Oh, so close. Did you say the ship can assist as well? Yep, ship can assist. In this instance, I will let that happen.
So it took me a while to, yeah. to scroll and find it. Um, what is it again? Uh, that would be structure plus engineering in the ship. Okay, oh. that is what you need. That is the one success. Okay, so um, that is that. So um, because Coox was running this, so Coox, roll me seven challenge dice, please. Okay, first time for doing this, so how does one do that? So there should be a challenge dice macro um, okay. on on the... Uh, oh, someone's car alarm's going off. I'm hoping it's not getting through this mic. Okay. I found that. Yep, so just push it and then roll seven. Okay. Oh, ah, okay. Seven. Yep. Okay, that is eight. Um, um, so you don't have any momentum. Otherwise, you could... Ah, so even with resistance of three, that is enough to achieve a breakthrough. So nice. let me quickly make a modification here. So work track five, difficulty of four, two and three. So this is the new work track. <clears throat> so the th uh, red particles emanate itself from the Nighthawk and pass harmlessly through the shields of the station and even through the bulkheads. Um, the life support begins pumping out a hyper iodized or a hyper uh, hyper ah, a hypo oxygenated um, particle of some sort or another that somehow filters through the uh, the Tholian suits. So not only are they locked up, they are many of them are have become sort of catatonic. No one's actually no, no one actually knows if the Tholians can sleep or not, but they are actively not moving. <clears throat> so, who wants to try and finish the work track off? I'm not allowed to launch more torpedoes, am I? No, <laughs> I'm not going to stop you, but it sounds like others might. No, I, I always could. Demos has That's put a weapon right. block on your ship. <laughs> I, can give, I, I can give it a shot as Hennis. Okay. Uh, what's Hennis going to do? Uh, Hennis is well. She's going to fall back on what she, on what her first toes used to fall back on whenever something, like whenever something went wrong. Okay. Whenever something went seriously wrong, just go stab happy. Okay. So she's just going to wail on things with swords. Cool. Uh, daring plus security then. Okay. And uh, difficulty four. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. I will. As, it, as this is activating, I'll give her a point of security. Mm -hmm. And as <laughs> much as I hate to do this, I'm going to give you six threats. Okie dokie. And I'm going to turn around and increase the complication range 18 to 20. And people have found the techno ba or the techno babble macro. Cool. It's brilliant. I wish I could claim credit for it, but... <clears throat> okay. So... And a focus of ancient troll swordsman uh, sword that, fighting style. That would work, yep. Yeah. Well, that's three successes. Yeah... Not enough, I'm afraid, to achieve the task. Could I use more threat to re-roll those zeros? No, zero? you'd have to spend a determination if you had one. Yeah, she doesn't have any yet. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, time's ticking down. You only have uh, two more tasks before the... before things win in the way... or before you can no longer attempt the work track. Um, who wants to try something? Okay, I've, I've I heard there, apparently. I heard chance. I heard someone talking about transporters, which would be an interesting idea. Um, Demos is gonna call back all security personnel. 
Okay. Um, and if they are getting knocked out, he's just going to have them, like, grab them, uh, disable their suit's motor functions if they are mechanical. Mm-hmm. So they can't even move if they do wake back up. Okay. Uh, that sounds like a good control plus security task. And because, yeah, so Demos can roll that, and then one of the other security guards can assist if they wish. So Hennis could assist, or Dura, or um, if uh, Commander Rafiki, or um, Lieutenant Rafiki. He's also have... even like, if no one got the security. Oh, sorry, I heard two people talking. Um, what was that, a Demos? If uh, Dolorm is acting as security as well, he's issuing that order out to Dolorm. Even if he's, that's a commander, he's just... Because he's acting in that role. Yeah, that's fair. So, yeah, Dolorm could do it yep. too if he wants. So, just... I can... Okay. I kind of want to try doing an area attack, but no, I'll fall back as we are... Be... Okay. Yeah, everyone's been ordered to this yeah not good on the demos front i don't even think no one can that's not enough to assist even with a oh i have a milestone save can i just use that yeah you can do that okay that's a reroll or i believe that's just a reroll of the zero yeah Okay, mm -hmm. that's two for that. Um, Commander Dolrum, you can try it. Hopefully we can get a crit. And a control security? Yeah, control security. Would survival come into play here? At this stage, yes. Not enough, I'm afraid. Okay. We are not doing would, well here. You are not doing would, well. Would Dora not be able to assist as well, or no? You know, in the sake of GM being nice, yeah, <laughs> I'll let Dora. I'll let Dora assist. Uh, would coordination work as a focus since she's working with other security officers to do this? Okay, I'd say so, because you're coordinating with the Demos. Yeah? Yeah. I'd say so. Okay, that's enough. Uh, Huzzah. So, uh, Demos, if you could please roll me uh, eight challenge dice, since you've... Okay. Yeah. That's Ooh. enough. So as you are actively disabling the last of the Tholians, uh, you realize, oh my god, these these Tholians, while, you know, running around and, you know, shooting willy-nilly, all their suits were rigged to explode if they received the right um, activation signal from one of the Dreadnoughts. Thankfully, you were able to disable them and lock them away in time to prevent such rampant destruction from inside your station. Um, the USS Ushan broadcasts a wide band message to the Tholians that this has been an act of war and the Federation and be prepared for the Federation to respond in kind. Uh, she then yells several interesting Andorian invectives over the con as the remaining Tholian ships make a move to leave behind all their agents and begin slowly withdrawing back to the uh, gateway. Demos is just going to look at the captain and go, Captain, this close. And he's going to hold up his finger and thumb, almost touching, after he gets a report of how they were rigged. Well, at least we got the problem taken care of. Uh, Demos is a lieutenant commander, That's correct, correct. yep. Thanks for your efforts, Lieutenant Commander. And he kind of just slumps into 
whatever equivalent of a captain's chair there is and just kind of, you know, rubs his temples and is just mulling over what just happened. Demos is going to walk up to him, put his hand on his shoulder and say very quietly, like, the looks of everything, you're going to need it. Um, so, uh, Demos. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sorry, I did get the decks wrong. It was the 50 through 30 that the force fields went down on. Uh, as shuttle bays were on deck 52. The okay. problem is is that the AI core was on deck 51. And there, the force fields went down, which means Michael Jensen is still around. Well, we don't know if it's Michael Jensen. Well, there's one Breen still on the station. Or unaccounted for. So... You know, that could be fun. Also, Rami's offline, so she can't really help. The computer core itself is still operational, um, where Rami was more or less the interface to the computer, the friendly interface to the computer core. So, what would you guys like to do? Um, would we have any way of locating Jensen? Oh, absolutely. This would be um. So, this would probably be a task of the station security officer. Uh, so, this will be a insight plus security. Uh, station okay. can assist with uh, sensor security. Um, and given Jensen's access to the station. Can I allow some? Will you allow yeah. some out of character metagaming here? Um, so what? <laughs> how, um. If the Nighthawk would like to run her own sensor scan, go for it. If, well, that's only if uh, you guys want to, you know, yeah. chime us in the gym looking for him. Otherwise, I was going to say the Nighthawk and the Admiral ship could set, set up a sensor net. You know, just in system. Well, the net could also help with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. We'll need all the help we can get. Okay. What's the difficulty? Uh, difficulty of three. Okay. Okay. Whoever he wants to yep. assist. Uh, yeah, so who's rolling the... So I will allow an assist from the Nighthawk sensors and an assist from the station sensors. I'll roll oh. station S sensor security. Yep. Right, okay. Nighthawk. Okay, go for it. Okay. Nothing from the Nighthawk, I'm afraid. Nothing from the station. Oh, great. I'm tapped into the station as Demos. Yep. So that oh, yeah. Can, you, the station die can be rerolled. Oh, by the way, that means I take three uh, stress damage from the oh, torpedo yeah. attack. You do. Torpedo <laughs> attack. <laughs> that was the Tholian. It's completely and utterly. Exactly. <laughs> A little bit of stress is good for you. Yeah, your sensors get another pit of being okay. targeted. Okay. Uh, can, yeah, you find my. You find a sense. Ah, you find the. Um, can uh, I see where he's at? Uh, yeah, sure. Where do you Where do you see him? Green Embassy, diplomatic soil. Okay. So he's down at uh, Green Embassy. And who wants? I believe. Uh, ELH has mentioned that he's already on his way there with Aria. Mm hmm. Okay, so Aria's going to head down. And I've never bothered finding a thing for the Breen Embassy, so we'll just load up here. Nope, wrong here. Here. Um, I just have one quick question here. Yes. So, Crawford would have known that there were three Breen signatures, correct? That is correct, yes. Okay, um, since the only real possible answer to the third one is Jensen, uh, he's going to go too. Okay, uh, well, Demos will go along as well. Okay, so Aria has a head, or Aria has a head start, but the others will join in when I say they do. 
So, I'm still uh, making my way back up to ops. So when I get there, I'm the one. I'm the committing. You got the big chair. Yeah. This is strike. This is starting to look a lot like the um, ending to the last episode. Just different characters. <laughs> no, no, <right>. nah. <laughs> Well, just please leave a station intact. Okay. So, Except now we hate Breen instead of holograms. Well, for good reason this time. There's a, there's justification. Okay. Um, Commander Arya, you set, you step into the Breen Embassy, and my uh, Mr. Jensen, please describe what you're doing. Oh, he's... Uh... How much time has passed since, like, uh, the whole, like, fields went down? Are they, like, enough, like, how much time? Uh, about say? five, five minutes, ten at max. Alright. Hey, he's buck naked. Okay. Well. He, he has a towel on, he's like, well, what? You guys having a party out there? I think we both know what happened here. And while a great mentor once told me to believe in coincidences, I don't trust coincidences. And I pull out my ceremonial sword that looks like a falchion mixed with a bastard sword and point it towards you. And I say, you can either come quietly and be turned over to Starfleet intelligence, or you know, I get to use this thing. Which would you prefer? Just gonna walk over to the computer and turn it on. And he's like, "This is a recording that I'm making right now." Uh -huh. No, see, I disabled everything before I came in here. And before you check, no, even your redundant backups that you think you were being coy about, those aren't working either. It's a good thing my suit automatically records everything too. Guess I'm gonna have to destroy it. Well, I'm going to be claiming diplomatic immunity. If you have a I walk over thing. and I just start going at him, just okay. walking towards him. Uh, okay, this is a daring plus security, an opposed daring. I'm security. not attacking yet, okay. but I'm making it very clear that his options are limited. Gotcha. Oh, I'm, he's not intimidated by her. He's going to stand there and wait. All right, sword's going to go to your neck. And I repeat, you can either come with me now, be turned over to Starfleet Intelligence, or you might be missing a few fingers. Diplomatic community, any grievances you can lodge with the Brain Confederacy. Yeah, no, see, that went out the window when you shot our computer core. Don't know what you're talking about. And you're on Brain Soil, technically. I don't this give a shit if you're Brain Soil or not. You blew up our computer core, and that's not something that can be let stand. Now, don't get me wrong. If I was a certain ex-security chief, you would not be talking right now. You would be on the floor being ripped apart limb by limb. I'm much nicer. I'm trying to be nice here and offering you a way to leave here intact. Again, any complaints, you can register with the Brain Confederacy. I backhand him. All right. Um, unarmed melee, I guess. <clears throat> Here's my fun out of character question. Does Aria have mean right hook? She does not. But, uh... Do I get a counter? Uh, yeah, this would be um, daring, uh, opposed daring security tests. Why do our characters always fight? <laughs> I mean, this was your entirely own doing. I, you know. <laughs> Um, alright, so I got CQC as a focus. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna bank that, and I'm just gonna block the attack. Like, he's not gonna... Okay. I believe that's one momentum I got. Uh, you beat her by two, so I believe you get two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, can I use the two momentum to make an advantage? Sure. The captain arrives. Yep. That's pretty much what I figured was going to happen. The captain arrives with um, the Lieutenant Commander Deimos, uh, crewmate Duras in tow. I assume you're here for the same reason we are, Commander. If you're referring to the fact that this asshole was the one that blew up our computer core, yes. He just has a big grin on his face. Like, 
I've just been attacked by one of your personnel. Shut the fuck up. Soil. Just shut the fuck up, or I will literally cut your head off. And you can tell by now, area is just livid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Technically, it. It's only green soil if we allow the green to have a that is true which the captain can revoke the ability to have an embassy at any point in time technically the admiral probably would make the call but you know a quick phone call to her she's li literally about 500 meters port of the station now, I would say on the way down Crawford would have relayed all that information to Zier and let her make that decision uh yeah uh, so, Admiral Zier, after a quick chat with uh, Director Chalmers, who is bravely cowering in the um, intelligence center, um, have determined that due to their active aggression against the station, the Typhon Pact are currently no not welcome on the station, uh, thereby revoking diplomatic, sanct re revoking diplomatic uh, protocol for both the Breen and the Romulans. Cool. Um, Crawford's going to turn to Jensen. By order of Admiral Zier, the Typhon Pact is no longer welcome here on Deep Space 15. Jensen's gonna grin more. You committed what could be considered an act of war by destroying a computer core, and he's going to also step closer to him alongside Arya. I don't know what you mean. I've been here. We all know that's a lie. We all know you just got ordered saying that we're no longer welcomed here. So I'm going to take my leave now. No, you're not. Demos, get his suit. Because apparently he was an idiot and forgot that it records everything. And so we'll just still smiling. Demos will like, oh, very well. I'll we'll right. go grab his suit. Demos grabs the suit. Um, okay. Uh, suit is seized. Naked Jensen, what are you up to? Yeah, he's just going to lodge a complaint with the Breen when he gets his chance to. That he's being held. Mm -hmm. and he was supposed to be uh, removed from the station. That they're supposed to leave. Eh, so yeah, he's just going to wait. Little of column A, little of column B. Um, in the sake of moving things along, um, shall Jensen be agreed to take go to the brig quietly, or what? What is the end result of the scene? I'm I'm just asking, just so that I can move things along. Oh, if they want to take him, sure. He'll just have that lodged as well. Okay. It is a literal walk of shame. Oh, he's just happy. <laughs> Of course. Okay. <clears throat> so, we have ourselves a roughly 40... Uh, let's see. Nope, we're down to about 32 Tholians after the torpedo attack. And a few f uh, fell during initial phaser fire. Uh, they're currently locked up in a cargo bay. Uh, they're currently all still wearing their EV suits. <clears throat> And what? Uh, Michael Jensen's in the brig. And that is more or less where I plan to end this for the moment. So, now, uh, is there anyone who wants to do benefit from a closing conference room scene? Yeah, I want to talk with Chalmers. Okay. We'll bring... Oh, uh, yeah. Crawford will be there, too. I think it's only... No only okay. logical that he's there we are going to have the conference to end all conferences then so uh, let's there, see Jail. everybody else is ambushing intelligence director Chalmers I did say I'd, I'd stick up for yeah. for him if he's going to fight his war so uh, if you request my presence oh I'll yes there. there are Cerberus oh. and Nighthawk folks here um, let's just make sure just grouping everyone here who is missing as you get everybody's tokens together, I'll just fluff and say, "Sure." Um, obviously, the Nighthawk is already going to send over the rest of its security and medical personnel. I'm sure mm -hmm. Dr. Kowalks has his uh, 
pads necessarily helping the rest of the station's medical medical uh, staff. And additionally, I want the Nighthawk immediately searching the wreckage uh, of what's in the Chrysler Nebula to, you know, go through the wreckage of fallen brain and ship, I'm sorry, fallen uh, Tholian ships and computer cores, any other bits of data that we can uh, ascertain. Okay, I will come up with something and send that to you guys with it in chat over the week. Um, okay, so I believe everyone is here. Uh, Commander Bashir had to leave, so he is holding, he's running the exploration and data retrieval process. Everyone else is here, including Admiral Zier. Cap, uh, she walks in. Captain Crawford, Captain Singral, thank you so very much for your efforts in repelling this heinous, heinous crime. There is much to do back at home, and I'm glad to see that there is a competent crew out here to make sure that our interests are protected on this side of the webway. Or, not the webway, that's 40k talking, the Transwarp Hub. And Director Chalmers just sort of sits back, puts a pensive thought on his... Uh, scrunches his nose ever so slightly as you see, see thoughts running through his head. And he doesn't say anything, he just sort of shakes his head sighs deeply. Knew this was coming. I knew they'd try to hit us somewhere. Just didn't realize it'd be out here. Even with me on board. Me! Of all people! It's like they knew I was here. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Director Chalmers. Starfleet Intelligence. You know, we shared a, sh we sh we shared a ship ride out on the new Sean. Oh, right. <clears throat> He just look away. He's like, yeah. Uh, Admiral Zier just paces agitatedly back and forth from the one point of the room to the other. So, Admiral. Yes. What? The detainee uh, diplomat Adam Jensen has. Technically, he's still an ambassador of the brain. He is still awarded rights and protections under the Diplomatic Corps. He has expressed multiple times to me and the personnel. He has issued a lodging complaint with the Brain Confederacy. No doubt you're aware. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, and quite frankly, I don't really care right now. Um, as far as as far as station. As far as our intelligence is concerned, and believe me, we will be going over everything with fine tooth comb. He was the only Breen that was supposed to be on board, yet somehow two others showed up. We're going to have to investigate our security protocols. If they're sneaking around now without those damned it suits of theirs, they're going to be all the harder to figure out. Yeah, about that, it seems that some protocols weren't in place with the previous chief. There was a lot that was covered by her, but there was some gaps, and he figured out, or they figured out, those gaps. Right. As of this moment, as of this moment, this starbase is going to be 100% operated by Starfleet. Any in, any incoming or outgoing shipments will be thoroughly scanned by Starfleet personnel, um, and see to I will, of course, leave the nuances in your, mostly, in your capable hands, Demos. And I'll continue to send you the updates that you've requested from me as well. Yes. Likewise, I need to have a chat with the Romulans. They were, they didn't pose any act, they weren't actively assisting in this invest in this attack, but at the same time, they may have been complicit in it. Well, with all due respect, Admiral Zier, I think this is unfortunately indicative of a much larger problem that I suspected, but I wasn't necessarily quite able to ascertain until this happened. Honestly, even with Deep Space 15 out here in the Carceri Nebula, we just don't have enough personnel, or the 
for the possible firepower necessary to maintain its its safe defense. With all due respect, in terms of all of Starfleet assets out here in the Lasai Expanse, the only things that remain are the station and my ship. That's not enough. Agreed. There and will be... I'll third that. It was one thing when we were hoping that there were just points of unexplored space beyond these beyond this gateway that we could send ships to find new life that make new friends get some get some points with the press back home however there are tholians out there somewhere she looks to chalmers and she says you're going to do something about that right Chalmers just silently nods, once again lost in thought. Well, to make him not lost in thought, I pass him a pad. All right, he pulls it. He takes a look at it and raises an eyebrow. And uh, what's on it? What's on it is all the paperwork necessary to black bag Jensen back to Earth for the good old boys in Starfleet Intelligence to get every single drop of information out of him. Without... And because it's a black bag, it basically means he disappears. Uh, without even cons- without even a thought to the contrary, he takes his thumbprint and adds his authentication to it. Uh, he then I slides see. the pad to back to area and just say, work with the captain on this, while nodding to sing growl. Very good. <clears throat> so, so, Admiral, I don't mean to necessarily push things you know further beyond the point of contention but to be quite honest i even though you weren't necessarily aware of the nighthawks mission in the lasai expanse i believe right now our situation and our circumstances have changed you were starfleet was concerned about the operational stability of the nebula and currently we have been to this date we have been conducting covert operations on all the other species that we've encountered here I could say after today's date, and if anybody managed to actually read my reports, that it seems like the primary power in this region, the Vitaes, isn't necessarily our primary concern anymore. Agreed. Uh, Chalmers will hold a hand up to interrupt whatever Zir was talking about. Captain Singral, I need to run some ideas with the boys back home, but I have an idea how the, uh, how the Nighthawk could assist us further. Please keep station around Cerberus just in case those uh, crystal heads pop back up or one of those other uh, Typhon packs decide to use these tubes for their own enjoyment. In And Admiral Zier once again just shushes him. As I was about to say before I was interrupted... Ooh. There will, I will see what I can do about scrambling some extra Starfleet resources to this area of space. There's a lot. Th- we need to figure out where these tunnels go post haste. And uh, as advanced as this station is, it's a simple. It is a single point in an infinite morass of possibilities. Gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen, we need to do something about this. This is when Sangrel is actually probably going to be the most boisterous he has ever been mm-hmm. to date. And just in this case, he's actually just going to suggest, well, I couldn't agree more, Admiral. And permitting, considering that the server is, considering that server station is a static entity, obviously, with your permission and with the assistance of Cerberus, I'd like the Nighthawk to actually be appointed sector command of the station, or of the uh, sector command of the Lasai Expanse. Uh, she's... Our ability to c- collect intelligence and our ability to be more mobile will allow us to better respond to adapting threats. Uh, she ta- uh, her one eye widens a little bit and narrows a little bit once the uh, words sink into her brain uh, as her antennae sort of droop a little bit lower around her head in a protective measure. I shall take that under advisement, Captain Singral. And you will be both you and Captain Crawford will be made aware of what happens in this expanse as soon as I have made some decisions. However, that goes to my my boss, 
has to clear it, and Admiral Riker. However, he is an understanding person, and I suspect we can get some assets out here. Whether or not you sh should be fleet command in this area is contradictory to your nature, and will have to be cleared with Director Chalmers. And she shoots him a glare, and at the moment he just makes a non-committal shrug. Rest assured, the Nighthawk will play some role in the Lasai Expanse's future. We're just not sure what it is yet. And she's like, now, if there's any other opinions or feedback on the nature, or on the matter, good. I just have one, sir, yeah. if you don't mind. Uh, yes, area. I pass, sir. Oh, you cut out there. I pass her a pad. Okay, and what's on this pad? It's uh, requisition orders to turn the Farmer Bream Embassy into an Olympic swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should actually mention that the station already has a fairly good swimming pool and aquatics facility on it. This uh, one will we be want better. another one. Uh, she... <laughs> Uh, she takes a look at it, uh, Chortles, and says, Well, considering the damage that your um, has been done to Meloon's habitat, I think we should um, get him a new home. And then she sticks a thumbprint on it and tosses it to uh, Yamato and Kievan. Hey, hey, say will take a look at that and say, I, and say, We'll get right on this. I've got some projects of my own going, but I'll... I'll get I'll get this done as quickly as possible. Did you get my message for call? Yeah, I did. Okay. Admiral. Well. Mm-hmm. Yes. I do not wish to contradict your ruling that you just said a moment ago, but I'm concerned that you want the station to be all Starfleet personnel and no civilian population. I may have I apologize. Uh, that's not the intent. Obviously, civilians will are central to the scientific um, scientific uh, process that, that are happening out here. What I was referring to is that there will be that Starfleet is now primarily in charge of that. There will be no further third party or civilian freighters heading out here. All uh, ma all materiel heading to including personnel and uh, even those uh, even including personnel of allowed uh, factions will come through Starfleet Transport. What a last thing, Admiral. Uh, yes. The station got hit because they believe we're protecting something. That's my assumption. No, we need to make the station seem more friendly. We could use some publicity in that. Try and make it less ominous. Honestly, being out here next to that thing, from what I understand about those creatures, it's making the other powers nervous. As well they should be. They're, I think they're kind of sad that we just found this first. Mm, I slobbered. I apologize. <clears throat> it's... it's I know you're excited, Chalmers, but <laughs> this needs to be viewed differently. I know that the base was kept a secret for a while and some of the stuff we're doing here. We should be more public with it. I know what we attempted to do with the Typhon Pact was to share information, but I think it's best to share with everyone, regardless if they're friend or foe. I'm not trying to justify what they did, I am just saying this is why. They probably felt that we're hiding something. I'm not saying we bring anyone from them over here like we did before, but to share the information, and if questioned, they can be showed the process of how we deduced or discovered. Hmm. At that point in time, be... yep. it's, I'm, I'm actually going to cut Lieutenant Commander Deimos off. If such a thing were to actually take place, I'd recommend that there actually be a waiting period or some sort of or some sort of operational period in which we'd actually give that information over to the other powers or to the general public. It's something that we need to make sure and ascertain 
that can do no further harm to Starfleet in, down the line. We gotta make sure it's clean before we send it out. Yes. Uh, Zir sort of stands a little more, a little straighter as she uh, looks at Captain Crawford. Captain Crawford, your the new mission out here is the information sharing protocols are no more. From this point on, we will publicly broadcast everything that is found. However, it needs to be filtered through the press corps. Of course, Admiral. And we knew it need a new Midas array. And one more thing. It's going to be a... What's the word here? A... A cord, an accord with these different powers. Similar to how, from what I understand, the Federation cannot develop cloaking technology, it should be a pact of saying that the Federation and the other allies will not make weapons based off the discoveries. It's yeah. simply a face value, just to show that we're intending not to do it, even if, and he'll look to Chalmers, if it's being done behind closed doors. She shrugs. Not much I can do about that, but I'll put the recommendation up the up the chain. And Chalmers says, Starfleet intelligence matters are internal to in Starfleet intelligence. We answer only to the director in chief of Starfleet. If that is what Star, if that is what the director, if that is what the director of Starfleet insists that we do, we shall follow it. Until then, Starfleet intelligence business is its own. At which point. Uh, he stands up, stretches, says, right, I'm done. I need a drink. Who wants to join me? I think I will join you. Alex in. I think I'll need it, but there's something I want to take care of first. Right. Well, see you down at that blue bar place. Okay, so who wants to join Chalmers at the bar? Demos has a lot of work to do. <laughs> okay, so not for Demos. Larce, as I said, she has a project, and she does. she's a, and she's actually going to invite uh, Commander Thashran to uh, get okay. some get some opinion on on it, and maybe some advice. Okay. Of course. Okay, so... Quarks will probably doing him at the bar. Okay, so the bar scene's the final scene. So we want to do something in the Fabrication Bay with uh, the Shran and Yamato. Okay. Yep. Cool beans. Cool. And then uh, Crawford will want to do something in the brig where Jensen is. Okay. Uh, let's see here... So we're down I'm going to gonna check on my family to make sure they are all okay after the attack before joining the bar. A wise Probably idea. with the entire family. A wise idea. Okay, so into the... R&D lab? Yep, yeah, R&D lab. Yep. Okay. And once there, I'll uh, call up the displays for the project I have, which is basically modifications to a uh, EVA suit to uh, give it some more functionality. I've so far I, so far she has managed to improve the power capacity and some of the thermal uh, absorption and uh, thermal protection for the uh, user and she's given some increased flight she's given it increased thruster power so it can move move better in uh, zero g and even fly a little bit in low g if if need be at least according to the simu according to some of the simulations she hasn't quite tested it yet she wants to get everything done first and so thanks to some of her work on some of the work on the Nighthawk she's actually found come up with some 
ideas to improve the scanning capability. She still needs to uh, improve the armor, pre improve the armor of the suit, and she also shows him so the concept she has for a pair of phaser emitters in the palms, so that uh, if she needs, well, they can be used as weapons, or they can, I or she can use them to cut open. I, she can go straight from cutting work to manipulative work. Uh, Shras looks over the um, the blueprints and says, "This looks uh, fascinating, but you know, uh, have you considered possibly painting it red to make it go a bit faster? Perhaps have <laughs> some, perhaps have some um, ye yellow or gold highlights to go with it." Um, I I actually had an idea. I actually had an idea for that, and, uh, okay, I, for the first time in a while, I'm going to have to do some out-of-character stuff. Technically, it is an Iron Man, uh, it is based based on an Iron Man suit, though it's more based on the rescue suit than the basic Iron, uh, than the classic Iron Man. Yeah. Fair enough. And it was going to have the rescue paint scheme. Well, there would be gold on the rescue paint scheme if I remember right. So you know that that yeah. works. Yeah, yeah, a little, <laughs> little bit of gold, but it's primarily blue instead of gold. Okay. It, yeah. You know what you should do is um, you should uh, kind of test a couple of different um, uh, layouts and um, build, build a couple of prototypes and race. Them. Race them. Right. Yeah, that, that's that's the, always the best way to uh, field test them. As you can tell, yeah. his engineering style is completely different from yours. Yeah. yeah. So, um, at this stage, if I could have a insight engineering test from Yamato, and Shras can assist with insight engineering to see if much progress is made. Okay. Insight engineering. Um... I th I want an extra die, but there's no th no, th I, no yeah, momentum. There's no so momentum I'll go left. Ahead. Yeah, and so I'll go ahead and do a threat. Ooh. Does uh okay? Does power systems uh, apply for this? I'll let it happen, sure. And my experimental technology focus. Naturally. Yep. Ho -ho! Oh, Okay, no. that's a lot of successes. Uh, so that was difficulty four. That's six successes. So you get two momentum. Cool. Okay, so um, with uh, Sh the Shran's assistance, you're able to um, miniaturize the sensor array and in somehow manage to it's fit at least one of these Nighthawk sensors into the uh, suit's inter integrated systems. The other um, break, I'm just going to spend both of those two momentum and just say that you have also figured out the phaser, or the integrated phaser systems in your suit. Okay, thank you. Okay, now, I believe that Crawford wanted to go to the brig. Yep. Okay. You are here. Let's see. I'm assuming that by now Levesque has been transferred over to the proper authorities. Oh, yeah. Jensen is in the brig this time around. <clears throat> so, the brig is active. Jensen has been given enough clothing to appear decent for a PG-rated uh, show. <laughs> Captain Crawford. And let's say that uh, Rifati is standing guard. Uh, when Crawford comes in, he has what would be to you, Jensen, a familiar box. Is this my torture? They send a human? I guess you can consider it that. Although I'm sure what Starfleet Intelligence has planned for you will be much worse. 
or recruitment drive. Yeah. Do you honestly think they're going to pass up an augment? They're going to try and turn me. It's going to be great. I'm going to go there, they're going to act tough, and then they're going to make an offer. I tell them some things, and I get a cushy life. Even if I don't get to be free, I'm still going to be taken care of. A nice place to live on, on in a Federation penal colony. Oh, three meals a day, activities galore. Yeah, that sounds torturous. <laughs> Federation. A joke. Are you, are you trying to have a moment with me? And the fact that you thought you'd get away with what you did is a joke, too. Oh, no, I didn't think. It, I would anyways. It was just more fun and games. Plus, if I didn't say anything, it, it would look suspicious on my side. The brain would be wondering what's up. So that my complaints have been lodged, they know that I'm on the station, or not going to be on it for long, they'll be taken. So, honestly, a multitude of things can happen. The ship I'm on gets intercepted, and I'm freed, and I go back with the brain. Or, I go to Earth and get... <laughs> switch sides. Come back here one day with a couple of pips on my collar. Or, as I said, penal colony. Live out the rest of my life in luxury. How's that sound for justice for you, hmm? Sounds fucking great for me. Oh, trust me, I'll be talking with Director Chalmers to make sure that maybe none of that happens for you. Oh, yeah. Again, augmented human. That is something they won't pass up. So, you can... And to an extent, you said it yourself. While you may be an augment, you're still human. And while you may hate them, and I think this proves that you're still nothing but a man. And he will take out the star cross that he originally had for him, but he'll probably at this point have it made in a, tier a material where it's probably damn near impossible for him to harm himself with it. Because I'm sure it's normally made out of metal of some probably, sort. Probably, yep. And he'll just... Have her thought he drop the force field quickly, he'll toss the star cross in, have it reactivated, and then just walk away. <laughs> I'll see you one day, Captain. By the way, I didn't kill anyone. Take that house you will. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's going straight to the bar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, and with that said and done, um, you, uh, Dalrum, you return to your home. Uh, you are quickly embraced by your children. Um, even um, uh, uh, Zyler, who is for the for the first time in some while, he's quite silent. Um, he just simply says that. Well, I had to shoot someone today, Dad. It's not quite what they make it out to be in the hollow vids, is it? No. No, it is not. Did you feel like this when... This hollowness when you had to shoot someone for the first time? To a certain extent... Yes, but you have to also remember that you're doing it for the right thing to protect your home, yourself, your family. If you just go around shooting for nothing, there's no point in doing it. You don't have that feeling. But you're doing it to protect others, and that, that's what you have to remember. Hmm. He nods. He just sort of he, once all the other embracing is done, he comes in, gives you a big hug, and says, Love you, Dad. Love you, too. Now, uh, we need to talk about, after all of this, about you moving down the hall. Yes, yes, it's about time I think about that. 
Okay, so we move on to the bar scene, the eclipse, where everyone can Ooh. play around for a little bit in character if they wish. Since the bar scene is the last, I'm going to snipe everybody. No oh. no long scene, just okay. a sentence. All right. And just say, I wouldn't, Captain Sangral wouldn't be here, but I'd want to actually start drafting a letter to the director of Starfleet Intelligence. Okay. Very well. Okay, let's just quickly go down the list and see who's showing up. Uh, Captain Crawford. Uh, first thing he does, he goes up to Peric. Give me the strongest thing you have that and he puts heavy air quotes and when he says this might be safe for human consumption <sighs> Mazik <laughs> uh, Peric just smiles nods and pours something sort of thick and green it's like Romulan ale 80 proof don't shoot it and slides it across the bar. Um, let's see. Uh, Commander Dalrum mentioned that you're coming in with your family? Yep, we'll co I'll come in and Let's hang see. out at a table and kind of do a nice family. Okay. So Apatu has wandered in, and you're just to keep things slightly free of token clutter, I'll just say that the kids are there too. Um, Commander Aria. is currently muted. Okay. Uh, Yamato. Might have uh, if I wasn't sorry. muted. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah. Um, uh, so one, one second, Larsa. Real, real, real quick. Uh, real quick. I, I would just say that uh, we'll talk after the game, but the idea, as I said in chat, is that Area is doing behind the scenes for the black bag. Yeah. Um, I figured so as will much. not be present. Fair enough. Uh, Yamato. Um... Larsa is uh, probably still, I'm uh, probably working on that suit still. Okay. I, I, I yeah. Okay. I, 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 I don't really do do bar scenes that much. Fair enough. Uh, Demos. Demos is gonna find Dura. Okay. I don't know who is in charge of Dura. Technically. Uh, I've been ta I've been playing her a lot. Yeah, there's no real in charge. I suppose she's just. She's one of those characters who can be picked up by anyone, really. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, we'll run that scene another time. I think I know what, how you want to run it. Oh, this is a short little thing. Okay. Uh, short thing with Dura? Okay. What do you want to run? Uh, he's just going to walk up to her like, Dura, this was in my quarters. Uh, the card left with her name on it, and he's going to hand her a tea set. This is a tea set that she gave Galen. I assume it's um, yours. It was, um... A gift for a friend of mine. Oh, um, that friend. I read that report. And you, said, and you said there was a card? Yeah, just with her name on it. Is it, like, in an envelope, I'm assuming? Not trying to be, like... This no, might sound like... like a... A... Just a little, uh, little card, just with her name on it. Nothing written else besides her name. Oh. Yeah. Um. And she'll kind of look up. Uh. Rami. Uh, There's geez. no response. Oh, right, she's not there. Yeah. Um. I mean, you um, could try just calling computer. Yeah. Um, computer. Please take command. Would you be able to tell me the where Lieutenant Commander Galen was transferred to? Lieutenant Commander Ga or Lieutenant Commander Galen's current l previous location was on board the USS Ushan. And the Ushan is not yet left. The Ushan is currently within proximity of the station. Um. She will kind of like by herself go through the at some point go through the Kelpian tea ceremony 
and have the other cup that would be filled with tea uh, maybe site to site transported over to the Ushan. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Keevan. Yes. Uh, would you be joining everyone in the bar? This has been a first, a very busy first uh, week on duty for you here at the station. Definitely. Before I have to go back and do some more repairs. Okay. <clears throat> okay, folks on the Nighthawk. So Sangral said he wasn't going to be here. Uh, Bashir is had to duck out for the evening. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Helsing. I have uh, intelligence report and operations plan to prepare about the Vitars. Very well. Uh, Thashran. I'm probably still working with Yamato on, on that suit. Okay. Uh, Kawax? Yes, sir. Are you in the bar? I would like to be there. You'd like to be in the bar. Okay. And uh, Lieutenant Erkin? Absolutely. Of course. Okay, y'all are here. Uh, the only thing you notice... Um, uh, for those who are close to the bar, is that uh, Mazzy has somehow procured a uh, some sort of shotgun um, and has it hi hidden behind the bar. Um, for those of you who may have noticed it, there is the splinters of glass nearby where he may have a shot a Tholian. Is the body still there? I, I'm assuming that by now the body has been reclaimed. Oh. <laughs> he just pats it and says, "This goes to every bar I've been at. As long as it's, as long as it's here, there's been very few problems." Now, what can I get you, gentlemen? Uh, what uh, are you? Uh, do you have anything that uh, might be of uh, Andorian brand, perhaps? <laughs> he smiles. <laughs> but the Admiral is Andorian, so naturally I keep some of her uh, favorite stuff on stock. I assume you like your Andorian um, ales chilled? Please. Human, uh, not as Andorian cold, but within tolerance, if you would, please. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes. Heated to only 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Gotcha. Sounds perfect. Ah. And he'll pull out a, a clear liquid, toss it into a uh, reheater and slide the glass alongside to you. As close as I can get to being on Endoria, and he'll hold it up a little bit. Uh, you must be the new uh, Denobulan I've heard so much about. I'm afraid it's been a long t it's been a long time since I've seen one on and the station hasn't had many. Welcome, Mr. Keevan. Well, thank you. Now, what can I get you? Klingon blood wine. Oh, an interesting choice. You should meet the Klingons. They're a boisterous group. Stay clear of the blind one, though. He gets a little uh, rambunctious after only a couple. He thinks he can hold his his alcohol. He can't. And he he pulls out a uh, ah he pulls out an aluminum bottle that is not translucent. Uh, it has Klingon markings all over it. He pass and he sort of juggle it ever so slightly before lightly tossing it to you. Um, it's already warm to the touch. Thank you kindly. Um, Bajoran. I'm sorry, I don't... I don't know you. You must be from the other ship. Yeah, uh, Lieutenant Erkin Alak at your service, sir. Ah. Uh, two servings individual glasses, please, if, you're, if you have any distilled canar. One for me and one for my uh, companion over there. And he gestures to a, uh, another Bajoran who looks like she's just fresh out of the church. Leave it to Bajorans. They're only on station for th less than a day. They're already making friends. Say what, what you build, say what you will about religion, but they build strong communities. And he'll quickly pour out uh, two glasses of Kinar. You know, ever so, you know, ever since we've... Um, Ever since those Cardassians joined the Federation as actually political allies, this stuff is much easier to get. I will sort of wince at the sound of Cardassian and then say, yes, uh, whatever you say. And he sort of realizes he's made a bit of a faux pas. Uh, 
nods a bit in contrition and then just keeps the smile going. Oh, excuse me, I will go and sit with my friend, and it like does like the wink and the one nose touch, uh, and wander off to the to the corner where she where he shall make some sweet sweet advances. I'd have you, you roll know, daring security, but let's. Or you know, would that I had, be? I had I had an orb experience, you know. <laughs> okay, that you that's <laughs> that's a pickup line. Okay. Want to experience my orb? <laughs> ah, nope. <laughs> Fade to black. Uh, okay. Um, can Demos walk in? Sure. What is Demos doing? <laughs> He's going to go up to the bartender. Mr. Looks Demos. The captain, like, like, I'm off shift. And he looks back to the bartender. He's like, strongest thing you got. No matter what it is, strongest thing. Well, you're in luck. Well, the Master Chief is supposed to leave tomorrow morning. She's not going to need the rest of this. So he pours out a, I think it was called a Blood Crown. The last of the Infernium. Ever since that incident with the Romulans, I, I'm not allowed to get any more. And so leave your circuits a humming for days. We'll see what happens. I mean, he'll just drink it all. Uh, well, it was nice knowing him. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Uh, roll me. Look at roll just for the sake of funsies. Roll me uh, fitness plus medicine. Difficulty of Shit. <laughs> let's say difficulty of three. And that threat, man, you got it. Yeah, I do. Let's make the complication. Um, seventeen to twenty. All right. Well, he technically doesn't get drunk, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, but there's Is more to this. Th there's more to this than just drinking. <laughs> Oh, no. alcohol. Uh, what's the difficulty? Three. Oof. Uh, explosives as a focus? To not explode? Honestly, that would probably work as a focus in this case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She can ride the luck. <laughs> well, it's not a complication. Yeah. Please. yeah. It does not go down smooth. Uh, you're going... You're, um, I'm assuming you're, I'm assuming the way you see things is sort of like a HUD. Um, but either way, it's going to pop up with error messages from your tip of your feet all the way to your head. Uh, minor you system, start... minor system compromises, um, de degradation in performances. Is this part supposed to be on fire? Um, <laughs> that sort of stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to look at the barkeep of like... Thanks, I think. And he's just going to start whacking at the arrows that pop it up in front of him like he's trying to hit them. <laughs> uh, well, Jim. it's been a long day. And he shoots the raw meal and ale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fitness medicine. Uh, difficulty two, because it's only raw meal and ale, even if it's strong. Uh, Commander Dolrum, uh, you and Apatu are served by one of the serving... Uh, ho the One of the serving girls? Ah, one of the serving girls. Who bring a shot of? Who bring you a tall glass of pretty much anything you ask for? Uh, she's uh, she shoots Zyler a small wink and a smile before going about her business. Oh, and I noticed that. You do indeed. Apatu just sort of grins and gives you a knowing smile. And it's the one time I didn't want to hold my liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Apatu just says, oh, I'm starting to see why Xyler's so keen to move out. Uh, you're, uh, the two, the, t the, B ah, not the Bajoran, the Beta Z twins just sort of snicker. Old enough that he can do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. Captain Crawford, it goes down hard, but holy cow. You stay, you steady yourself and prevent yourself from falling off the chair. So, don't shoot this, huh? Peric just says, it's just a suggestion, sir. Um, I had heard reports about what happened between you and the Master Chief. I wasn't sure if you could take a p the punch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm improving. So I can see. And he kind of like, just sets the glass upside down on the bar. Nicole, how much left do you have right now? Sorry, how much what? 
How much threat oh. do you have? Uh, last count, I uh, minus what I just spent, I have eight. I'm spending two of your threat that, Captain, you feel a hand on your shoulder. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Oh, no. He jumps in his chair. And it's Ember. You yeah. turn around. It is Ember. She is in civilian clothing. And she says, you didn't think I really was going to go without saying anything, right? I figured not. Uh, let's just say that uh, you are improving, but uh, and I do one of those very, very slow and gentle, like, tap punches against, like, his cheek. You still don't know how to dodge. <laughs> Debo's upon hearing her is just gonna turn and look at her, look up or down, and just give her a nod. But, uh, Captain, I didn't come here just to berate you. I actually have somewhat good news. He just raises an eyebrow. Well, I, uh, talked with the folks back home, and I know I never really talked about my parents, but, uh, let's just say my mother is, uh, rather high-ranking in what fares for our Starfleet. Uh, as you well know, the Cornets are sort of a uh, off and on basis with Starfleet. Sometimes we're members, sometimes we're not. It's a tricky situation. The point being, uh, my mother has indicated that uh, she is willing to send a few Cornet ships out this way if Starfleet would like some assistance. And based on what happened recently, I think you could need it. After today, I couldn't agree more. And then I uh, I look at Peric and I say, Peric, bottle. Last one. Oh, no. And I, like a champ, down the entire thing. Not even gonna, not even gonna worry about it. Just down the entire thing, lick my lips and say, have a good life, Captain. And uh, you too, Security Chief. And she's just gonna walk off into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, had to get that in there. Fair enough. Who was that masked officer? Oh, she wasn't masked. Ah. Speaking of protocol, Romney's going to have to be built from the ground up, as far as I can tell. So. Yep. Yeah. Me and the uh, aquatic fellow will get it done. I'm going to make sure that there's no additional codes, and he's going to look at the bartender. He's like, that will be interfering with her operations. Bartender smile. Bartender does a who, me? Look. And goes back to what he was doing. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, Captain, I'm gonna go flush up my circuits now. Oof. Phrasing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Anybody else have anything else they'd like to do? I'm going to give my companion an orb experience and, and flush her circuit. Hey. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Hey. Okay. Hey. Face to black. So, on that note, I would like to thank everyone for showing up. I believe we've had all 12 players um, today. So, thank, big thanks to the Cerberus players. Big thanks to the Nighthawk players for taking a Friday night to join in the madness it has been a great uh, mess of everything between this and the Nighthawk crossover but I thoroughly enjoyed it hopefully you guys did too and I'll probably do another one of these whenever I have regained San so th on behalf of myself and all my players thank you all for listening and I will see you guys next time bye 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 <laughs>